Oh, I had a, I, I talked a whole thing there. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Vertical uh, properties, properties, properties. <laughs> All right, hey, shout out to Sacred Get Good Noob. Hello, welcome to the stream, and shout out to Velo Veloc LP. Welcome, guys. Uh, I had uh, so I think I think I did a Windows update, and that usually like reverts my things to the default. Unfortunately. Welcome to the stream, everybody. No! No! Hey, D! Gummins may be winning, but I want to give the Switch Axe some love less than three. You got it. And a follow from Zach. Zach, thank you for the follow. Uh, your name's so long, it does like weird shit to the thing. Thank you for the follow. Uh, five bucks to Gunlands from uh, D. Thank you, D. Appreciate it. Uh... Not to Gunlands, the Switch Axe. Sorry. 30 bucks. Switch Axe is actually doing all right. It's in third place still, so. Am I enjoying alchemy so far? We haven't really gotten to fully utilize alchemy uh, just yet. It's all right. I definitely feel like it's it, it, it's more for supporting a party than it is for like being used in solo play. I feel like we're gonna be at somewhat of a disadvantage because of that, but I think we're gonna make up for it uh, through using sword and shield. Sword and shield is a pretty good weapon for uh, in this entry. Uh, report turret and woolly, you can choose weapons if you want, so just let me know. Hey, Ringdald. And th Silence of the Lums, thank you for the, the sub, and you want that to go towards dual blades, so I'll do that right now. Uh, that's the first one for dual blades. It's going to go up. Hey! It's going to go up. Oh. Sorry, Mabel's attacking Searsha. It's gonna go up by one there. There we go. Okay. And yeah, Gun Gunlance is winning, but don't let that uh, don't let that deter you. Yeah, leaving. Yeah, if you're watching Alpha, if you if you're watching Alpha Rad right now, stop watching Alpha Rad. We we have developed a better Rad. I, that is me. I, we we have a, we we went from Alpha Rad to we got rid of the Alpha terminology. It was it was it was uh, taken over by too many like weird white sh weird short white dudes <laughs> using it in YouTube videos and stuff like that. So we got rid of that. We moved on to Super Rad. We we developed the perfect concoction of uh, herbs and spices, and we have created Super Rad. And this is. It, it, there was nitro rad at first, but we realized nitrous oxide could potentially be poisonous in high doses. So we tried alpha, and then all the weird dudes took that over, and now we're at super rad. And no, no, no issues there just yet. We'll see what happens. Switch axe from report turret and charge blade. Got it. One for charge blade and one for switch axe. So six here. Switch axe is going to get its first sub. It already has thirty dollars of donations, and that is set up. There we go. Super rad. Yeah, the no Sigma rad. We're done with Sigma rad too. That was a that was a prototype. Sigma rad was a prototype. Let's see. You put DBs as donation instead of sub, did I? <laughs> oh, I did. Whoops. Sorry. Thank you for calling me out on that. See, that's why I like to have it up when I do the donations. There we go. Fixed it. That was my mistake. Hey Jojo. Hey DK Bongo Furious Noodles. Roquai, Mephis, Mason, good to see you. Kevin, hello, Yurushi, Locusts. I, I, I cannot tell you how lucky you guys are to have me here. I, I have such a strong urge to be playing Elden Ring right now. I literally, all I want to do with my time is play Elden Ring. And I, I, do, I do not get to play it during the day because I have to work on video. I didn't even get to work on the video today because um, I had to work on a, my school project. I'm working on a, a real-time strategy game as my final project for my game development course uh so i was working on that and i'm watching one of my classes so i didn't even get time to work on the script but the, the the script for the world retrospective is recorded it was recorded and edited in the past two days it was a three hour audio recording about three hours and four minutes and i think taking out all like the dead space and the errors and stuff like that brought it and editing all the audio brought it up to about two hours and and 10 minutes it's, it's it's gonna be about a two hours and 10 minute video of me just absolutely bashing world absolutely bashing world and, and just non-stop simping for the handler that that is that is the perception that is the perception i i exude on youtube and twitter apparently so that's what we're gonna be doing 
I do I do go hard on it's funny because like I do go hard on world in certain parts for a lot of things there's a lot of world that is like uh abhorrent design in my opinion and uh but it's funny there's just there's a lot that I praise world for too big super pog stream Yenus, thank you for the sub you can put that towards a weapon I really appreciate it thank you for the thank you for the sub Yenus. You're, you're faded. And Honey Bunch, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that, too. I really appreciate all the support, guys. You know, t the, the, the nice thing about uh, doing Twitch and YouTube is that, like, I feel like I can kind of take a little more time to work on my YouTube videos. Because, you know, some people have to, like, pump out their videos in order to keep, like, rent coming in. But I feel like I get to take a little bit. I still, I still like to have a video out every week or every two weeks. But, like, I'm kind of not sure if I can get the world video out within a two-week period. So, it's nice that I at least have Twitch as well to help, like, pay rent. So, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, my biggest gripe with world is just the bad weapon designs. Oh, I talk about that a lot. I talk about... I, I, I pretty much... I, I, I really go hard on them for the weapon designs. I go hard on them for, like, the weapon designs. I go hard on them for the guiding lands. I go hard on them for, like, the uh, cool Taroth. And Safi Jiva weapons, I go hard on them for the. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else. There, there, there's a lot. There's a lot. Look forward to it. It's going to be good. Kami, oh, thank you for the follow. Yeah, the nice thing about JoJo is he just pays my rent, so I appreciate that from JoJo. I don't. Th I, you guys got to give JoJo a break, though. Realistically, you know. You got to give JoJo a break. You got to choose the weapon yourself. You can't just let JoJo pick every weapon. Actually, I, I get JoJo didn't pick the last one, did he? Shoutouts to shoutouts to like teamwork, defeating JoJo. Sorry JoJo. Uh, go hard on the handler. I I I. There's a point where I talk about the narrative, and I specifically say that I'm not gonna talk about the handler. I'm like I don't want to talk about the handler. It's annoying to talk about the handler at this point because, uh, people misconstrue the video that I made about it, and get really mad at me over it, and it's it's like exhausting. You let them win. What are, what are you going for this time, Jojo? Are you, are you gonna leave it up as a surprise? We have started GU. We have started GU. I'm gonna turn this off now. Did uh, Yenis say what weapon? Charge Blade. Charge Blade is gonna go up to seven subs. There we go. I think I can turn that off now. Window capture, there we go, okay. Guildmarm is life. I, I I do talk about how like bland the story is, and uh, I, I I talk about how bland the story is. But I also I also mention how bland like almost every Monster Hunter story is. So that's not necessarily a crack at World specifically. The issue is that World force feeds the awful storyline to you. You know that's a big issue there. Yeah, I did a whole video on the handler, so I don't want to do another one. It's just. Uh... Making that video, like, I mean, it, it did well, so I'm happy that the handler video did well. But, like, making that video was, like, it took years off of my life, man. That The handler video took years off of my life. And just, like, just, like, made me enemies? Like, how weird is that? Like, you make an opinion piece on YouTube and people are just like, that's it. That's it. This guy is a target now. This guy is... I have my sights on this guy, you know? I'm gonna fucking kill this dude. Oh, I mean, not, no one's, no one has thrown me a death threat yet. Don't take that out of contents. No one has thrown me a death threat yet. I am, I am very lucky to say I have not received a death threat. I have received some weird fucking shit, though. But no death threats. I, I know. I know. It was, a very, it was a very normal take. Oh, I do. I do. I do. I just ignore them. I have pretty much every bad faith person in the community blocked on Twitter, so it's pretty good. That's just how it is this day, these days, this days. Yeah, I'm public enemy number one. Public enemy number one. They have a they have a bounty sign out for me. So we need to... What the fuck? I don't remember the sauces. Has there always been sauces? I thought you just mixed two dishes together. Something seems weird here. This doesn't seem right. Is this how it's always been? Am I high? Where's foodie? Cool cat. That's weird. I thought it, I thought you just chose two ingredients and then those made like a new ingredient or something. Crockpot sounds like a slayer. 
Uh, Atalka is the finale for GU. And then we might do some more. I only started watching you after Rise's PC release, and I started with World, which I love. I actually really like getting opinions that go against my own. I don't think that Pete. I don't know what people's problems are. I mean, it's not like I did. It, it's funny too, because like I don't dislike World. I'll, I'll say right now, and I say it in the video that that like that World opinion piece that I made when I was like that was probably like closer to when I was first starting out. I think I had like maybe three or four of the history videos out at that point. Like I wasn't as my video, my videos and my opinion pieces are like much more well spoken and like written out way. Like they convey information way better. Like I, I have more experience in conveying the the opinions and information that I want to within those videos. So, the, looking back at the opinion piece, it wasn't like the most well conveyed video, and it doesn't necessarily. And I could totally see like I even mentioned at the start of this new video, like I can understand why people would like be somewhat defensive over that kind of stuff, you know. So. Uh, but that being said, I still roast the shit out of it. There's still a lot that I have issues with. A lot I like, but a lot I have issues with. Like pause menus. There's no pause menu. I get, I give them, I give them, I give them hell for that. Holy moly. The pre glow up rad. I guess so. Yeah, I was pretty like tame, right? Like I, I had my septum. I didn't have my hair dyed. I wasn't working out. I'm like, I'm like, Urgh. I'm getting jacked, man. You can't see it in this shirt, obviously, but they're bigger. Trust me. From soft, is that you? I, uh, oh man, like, like I said, I really wish I was playing Elden Ring right now. You, I, if I disappear, if I if I go BRB for like an hour or two, would you guys like just stay here and pretend that I'm still streaming so that I can play Elden Ring? I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the key quests now. I think what made me catch on to your videos is the cute art of your thumbnails. Thank you. The uh, it, you're new, so uh, you're probably talking about D's artwork, and, and D's actually here. It's Ghost Shul Bree. Uh, they did the uh, they did the they, they did one of the retrospective ones. They did the no. They did the the. They did one of the highlight ones, the retrospective for Freedom Unite, the retrospective for 3 Ultimate, and are doing the ones for Iceborne. So look forward to that. Just D. <laughs> it's, uh, and then also did my, like, my, my, would it be a play-by? What do people call it? They call it, like, Rant Sonas, right? Okay, let me get the key quests up here. Key quests. There we go. So we're in 2-star. I think we haven't done anything yet. I think we just need to hunt a... We're going to go hunt five Renoplos. Renoplos. Okay. Oh, I talked about the defender equipment in the video. I defend the defender equipment, if anything. So there's that. I'm trying to think of what else there is. What else do I talk about in the video? There's a lot. It's, a, it's like a 48-page script. I was surprised with how much I had to talk about, you know? Okay. <laughs> be my dad? No, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm not ready to be a father. Just yet. All right, Slay 5 Renoplos. Renoplos. I never, I have never been able to like easily pronounce Renoplos. It's always been like an annoyance to me. Oh! Colossal Sword. Wait, this isn't Elden Ring. Holy Great shit. Sword. Right before I'm about to go on a quest. Holy shit. Thank you, Jojo. Holy shit. God damn. Jojo, I was joking, man. You don't have to, like, you don't have to throw your weight around. I appreciate it, but you don't have to. I like when you do. You don't have to, though. It's up to you. 100 bucks for Greatsword. Reno plows? Reno plows? Re. Are you saying re or re? Reno? Reno plows? Reno plows. Renoplus. 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 I don't know. Thank you, Jojo. E putting putting Greatsword in an easy, a, comfor <clears throat> a comfortable second place. Comfortable second place. And we got a tier one from Shunichi. Thank you, Shin Shunichi. I appreciate it. Renoplus? Renoplus. I say Ren Renoplus. I say Renopolos. I do say Renopolos. So I'm just I'm going to stick with saying Renopolos. Lagoomba, Renopolos... 
Magala, you know, everything. There's no no styles this time, but greatsword coming in hot. Let me turn that off. Did Shinichi say where they want theirs to go towards? It's going well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know why he does that. Uh, hold on. Let me turn this off. Hello, Nathan. Good to see you. Ren, Ren OP Los? I don't think that's what it is. I don't think that's how you're supposed to say it. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. Is the volume good? You guys can hear everything. You're all good to go. We're still learning the weapon. I mean, there's not a lot of intricacies to sword and shield, right? We learned that you can like, you can do, you can do that. You can do like this. Is it this? Yeah. You do like a dash forward attack. We're, we're alchemy. So we're very limited. We can do like, you know, one, two, one, two, three. I think one, two, three. No, wait, I can do one, two. No, that's okay. This is so annoying. One, two, three, four. Okay, you can do one, two, three, four. The thing about sword and shield and like timing the button presses is, is it's much faster than uh, long sword. I'm used to, so I'm used to like a very steady pace. One, two, three, four. That's pretty much the main one we're gonna be going for, I'm pretty sure. Insect glaive, I'll put it up right now. Insect glaive. Hey, Bailey. Oh, it's not letting me for some reason, hold on. There we go, insect glaive coming in here. Insect glaive, insect glaive. Where is it? It actually has four subs, wow. It was the first one to get subs, I think. So, Reno, Reno Flos? Yeah, I don't think that's it. Any fun in Elden Ring yet? Yeah, I've been really enjoying Elden Ring. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna spoil anything for anybody, uh, but I've gotten through like pretty much everything within one of the first areas and the Southern area. Hey, Jemmy, thank you for the prime sub. You can put that towards the weapon if you like. Uh, so yeah, we have a four hit combo. Spoil it, it's utter scale. It's very big. It like it is. It is one of the few open world games that is good at conveying scale. Like it, it like even Dragon's Dogma, which I which I like say is like a pretty good like open semi pseudo open world game, doesn't convey its scale as well. Hey Bean, what's up? Good to see you. Only pain in Stockholm Syndrome and Elden Ring, but yeah, the the the, the scale is amazing. All the little nooks and crannies that you can find are amazing. And you pretty much don't have like any icons or anything like telling you which way to go. So it's just about openly exploring. But I did check after the fact and like cleaned up the areas that I've been in just to make sure that I've gotten like everything. Cause like my, my main thing with playing uh, Souls games isn't necessarily completing them, but getting everything in them. Um, and I recently found out that I can, there's another way that I can like guarantee that I get everything in them. Like there's a mechanic in the game that's really cool that I didn't know about. So I have to go back to an area and do that now. I don't know about the PS4. I'm playing it on PC and the PC has issues. Oh right, yeah, I'm supposed to be killing these guys. Why am I, oh, I have my shield out. So we can do one, two, three, four, five? How did I do five? Is that because it was unsheathed? One, two, no, that's one, two, three. One, two, three, okay. See, I have I have a hard time getting all the button presses done properly. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. Hey, thank you for the fallout, or for the for the sub, I said fallout. Thank you for the sub. Can I, can I get in here? There we go. Uh, Captain, what are we voting for this time? Monster Hunter 4 use weapon. Thank you, Cap Capitan. Did I miss somebody's? I feel like I missed somebody's subs. It was GG. No, the only the only console I know that has issues is well, not not console. The only platform I know that has issues is uh, PC. I, I don't think they patched it yet. There was a patch, but it was just very minor. Um, and so I still noticed some stuttering here and there. Yeah, we're gonna finish the Badger Badger set. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably focus on doing that once we have access to Bullfangos. We might actually have access to Bullfangos now. I'm not completely sure, but that is the set we will be running in low rank. And then from there, we'll like, we'll see. I just need to, we'll have to go and like, we'll have to kill a couple more Jaggies. I also wanted to upgrade my weapon to the Jaggy weapon. So we're, we're gonna have to fight Jaggies a lot basically. You're gonna vote for Lance? Okay, here, I'll throw it up right now. I'm gonna pull up, I'm not gonna pull up the screen, but it's going on. So Lance is at two subs now, appreciate it. And Captain hasn't said yet, okay. 
Playing greatsword in for you would be very weird. Oh, here we go. Uh, greatsword. Oh, greatsword. Okay, perfect. So greatsword not only had a hundred dollar donation today, but one sub, putting keeping it in second place. Shout out to, shout out to Jojo. And Cap Capitan for that. All right, we're gonna go up this way. Where are the, where are they? Where are all the Renopolis, man? Alchemy, I'll, I'll I'll show you. So Alchemy has a you get a special item in your inventory. <clears throat> if I can find it, there it is. This item and it charges over time up to five times. Where where are the monkeys, man? God damn it, not monkeys. They're uh rhinoceros, I guess. Not rhinoceros. Triceratops. Where are they? Am I high? So it gives you this, and what you can do is you can like shake it. And when you shake, you can shake it based on how many charges you have, and each tier of shake gives you different items. So I can get alchemy food, I can get alchemy whetstone, which basically act as like the same, like food or whetstones. Like I, they would give me stamina or they would give me whetstones, uh, but using them gives you added benefits, like faster charge times on your, uh, on your uh, hunter skills or whatever, hunter arts. So if I shake it again, you can see here we get like sonic bombs, we get alchemy immunizers, and if I shake it again, we get alchemy booster. You generally take alchemy booster first, from what I understand, because drinking alchemy booster makes it so that when we attack, our 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 little barrel here will charge faster. See, I, I already know all the intricacies. I already know all the intricacies. Does wide range work on it? I have no idea. I mean, they're consumables, so it should, right? Realistically, it should. Hey, Psyche. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. I'm not even after Macaws. I'm here for, like, the other dudes. Huge alchemy brain, yep. So now we have that, uh, now we have that, like, alchemy thing on. Wheat, thank you. Where am I going, man? We've been in Jurassic Frontier this whole, this entire time, man. It sucks. Oh, yeah, we can't finish the set right now anyway, because we need, uh... Some sort of bug we can't get in this area. We have to wait till we get to Verdant Hills. Wheat, thank you for the sub. You can put it towards a weapon if you would like. Okay, so a, da a dash at or a draw attack lets you do five hits. So I can do like, wait, yeah, because that counts as its own hit, okay. So I can do one, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, I'm learning. Greatsword, yes, I can put it towards Greatsword. Let me do that right now. So the, we're in like a very lax point of this game. I can just like put the controller down and not care. Even when I'm mid hunt. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna carve pretty much anything I can. You know, just we wanna have as much as possible realistically. So why not? It's one, it's one of those Monster Hunter games, you know? It's not like World where you can just like blast through everything with minimal items and stuff like that. It's always good to be prepared. This guy's getting his ass beat. So you can see the barrels going up fairly fast. And like I said, there's a bunch of different items. One of them is really cool. It's uh, this one right here. You can get alchemy earplugs. So even if you don't have earplugs on your set, you can give yourself earplugs, which I think is pretty neat. And gonna be super useful for set building. Oh yeah, so that's what X plus A does, gotcha. So I can get a five hit combo by X plus A while I'm drawn, while I'm unsheathed. And yeah, we can do we can do KO damage at some point, which is pretty cool. We have I have stamina oil on me. I have uh, critical oil. We'll try stamina oil on the next like large monster we have to fight. I'm just doing some like basic gathering while I'm here too. Might as well. Not that we need iron ore and earth crystals and stuff like that. They give us a ton, but actually I don't know why I'm getting it. All right, so there wasn't any. Renopolis in any of these locations. So we'll try 9, 10, and 11 because we haven't been there yet. We only need to kill five and I'm pretty sure I killed four. So I only need one more. And I want to get through these early key quests so that we can like move on to like some more interesting fights. Not that there's like particularly anything interesting in low rank, really. But you know, there's some stuff. There's some okay stuff. Right. Oh, there he is. One, two, three, four, five, and then we can we'll round force his ass. Why not? Doesn't matter. I'm bouncing off of Renopolis. That is okay. He's dead. That was very easy. How do I? There we go. What was that? 
Wait, I can do a spin attack with the select button? What is that? That's super weird. Why would you do that? Why would you press the select button to spin attack? Remember behind the vine curtains? What's behind the vine curtains? Sounds like a book. Or a band. Behind, behind the vine curtains. Oh! Yeah, there's more here, I see. Scenic Sphere, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, my friend. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, spin attack? That's a neat trick. Oh, Macalador. There we go. That's why we're grinding, because we don't have Macalador. We're going to need Macalador in the future. So, I guess... What else? Do, what are the key quests for two-star? We did Renopolis. We have to do Gen Prey. Oh, no, Gen Drome. We have to fight a Gen Drome. And a Cephadron. Oh, my God. And five Hermitar. We'll go do the we'll go do the Hermitar first to get that out of the way, and then we'll do uh, Gendrome and Cephadrome. Can I can I hunt Bullfangos at least by now, or do I have to wait? Do I still have to wait to hunt Bullfangos? Desert Pain rank, yeah. If you do it as a starting attack, does it let you do like another four hits with Alchemy? Because that'd be a cool way to do it, too. X plus A is probably still better, I assume. But Yeah, Stuff Dream's going to be awful, but we luckily this game gave us... I I don't remember who it was yesterday. I was like trying to explain to somebody how I felt that all of the items and stuff that they give you in this game is is more... affects the progression of the game throughout the entirety of it. We, we, I, was, I, I compared getting all the items in this game to getting defender equipment in uh in world because defender equipment allows you to basically coast through base world to to g rank right but i was saying like this this game gives you like it gives you so much money and so many items and so many things to make duplicates of items that by the time you are even in g rank you could still just be like coasting on a lot of these items and stuff that you got. And I think that, I don't think, I don't believe that either are inherently detrimental to the series, um, but it is it is kind of silly, you know? I've never heard anybody mention the fact that you get all of this shit, yet people will like go off on defender equipment, which is, uh, I don't know, it's just a little, little silly to me. The slick axe is insane, man. You start with it with select, I get you. So, yeah, we have, like, stamina. We're going to try stamina oil on this next one because I want to, like, see if we can knock out a monster. I want to see the true power of this weapon. Quickly, though, I want to... Oh, when we fight a large monster, because we're going to fight Hermitars next, assuming it's unlocked. Can we hunt Bullfangos yet, though? That's the question. I don't see Bullfangos yet. I mean, they might be on a map, but I was hoping there would be a quest for them. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be saving a lot of those like bonus items for when we get closer into G rank. It's going to save us a lot of grinding. We're in Burna. We're going to take... We're, we haven't done this yet. We haven't gone to every village yet, so I want to do that first. No, we haven't gone to Pokey. We haven't... I found it funny they put Kokoto and Pokey in like, all the portable villages, basically, right? I mean, not this isn't a portable village, but it was in Freedom 1. And they made various changes to it and stuff like that. Yeah, we'll see about getting... We'll try and get, like, uh, requests and stuff. We'll do all of our requests and stuff uh, in this run, too. Unless requests start to get, like, insane. Like, if they re want some, like, really, like, crazy shit. But, like, I don't mind, like, doing the requests. The good old tutorial wyvern. Kokoto Chief, man. I remember having him, like, on my screen. There you go. Slay the Velocipray. I'll talk to these two bad boys. Give me a mega pickaxe, good. I had one break today, so that's nice of them. Talk to this guy. The resting hunter, classic individual. A legendary hunter taking a nap. There's Poogie! There he is! All right, hold on. Got him. Hell yeah. Got Poogie. Can I change his costume? There we go. Put him in his Yukata. Can I change his name? Hold on. Pookie, talk to me. Change costume, change name. 
Rodeo? I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> Hold on. Beautiful. Poop champ. What does that mean? So, like, what happens if you if they ride him? Will they ride him? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go, boys. Setting out. Why did they add that? That's, like, such a weird feature. I don't hear any singing. All right, I think we've seen everything there is to see here. Talk to this person. We'll head back to Pokey Village. This is gaming. This was in 4 you? Okay. I never knew about that. Classic. Oh, classic. Classic. One of the best hubs in the game. Absolute banger of a hub. This is this is like the best place to be. So good. You can see all the little changes, the additions they added for uh, you know the new generation. But like it, like it, this feels like Freedom Unite, you know? Like it feels like I'm playing Freedom Unite right now. Uh, it feels like they changed the music a little bit though. This guy will take us to the mystery cave. Class, so you can't go to the farm, but you can come to the mystery cave. Thoughts on the idea of Capcom did a remix this remaster of the Monster Hunter series like on the Nintendo? I want them to do a remaster collection, yeah. That, I've been asking for that for a while now. It's kind of been like one of the main topics. I would love like a collection of some sort. Of like FU, 3U, and 4U would be really good on the Switch or something. Yeah, visiting all the villages is really nice. Can I, can I do this or do I have to come back? Probably have to come back. Right, let's return to the village. We're trying to find Bulfangos. Hey, it's our little man. Hello, sir. This is the dude that hangs out in the guild balloon. And then there she is, Pokey Chief. Classic. Where's the, where's Nakota? Or Nakot. Okay, Geoprey. Can't, can't I like, yeah, isn't, can't I like look at the world map somehow? How do you do that? Can you look at the world map? I thought you could. Do I have to talk to that person the entire time? Yeah, world map. Press the X button while in a village. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, to Yakumo. X to doubt. Yeah, I wanted to bring up the map. I was tired of like talking to the... Another classic banger. Kimura village, but better. The, the coziest vacation destination you could ever go to. Yakumo Village. One of the highest points of Generation 3 was its villages. They were so nice. Based Rudy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream, my friend. I hope you're having a great day. You're balling. Hot Spring versus Dongo. I'd rather Hot Spring. At least, like, the Hot Spring implies that you, like, eat other times like you're because you're having a drink at the hot spring so you probably eat somewhere else but like as far as we know dongo is all this the the kimura hunter eats so we, yo we got the uh can i can i still gather from it can i not gather from it the farm's closed oh the one issue with coming back to these places is how limiting they make them you kind of like want to go in and explore everywhere but you can't unfortunately i think in this one though you get to uh you talk to a lot of people in the hot springs right that's like the big thing No more farms. They're gone. Been watched your vids the last couple of weeks. Loved it. Thank you. Welcome to this stream. I hope you have a good time. The next vid's going to be huge. I hope you're looking forward to it. Maybe not the next one. I might I might make one in the meantime, but we'll see. Depends how long I think it's going to take. All right. She wants us to kill some Jagia. So we still don't have a quest to hunt Bulfango. I was really hoping we would get one, but that's okay. We can go and... Who do we talk to about quests here? Where do I go? Who can I talk to about taking a quest? Do I talk to the chief? Do I talk to you? No. Do I talk to you? Okay, yeah, I talk to you. So we gotta slay Velocipray, we gotta slay Geoprey, we gotta slay Jagia. We'll do Jagia first because we need a lot of Jagia items. A lot of, lot of just like cleanup quests to do. 
in this one. I assume I assume we're gonna see like a new food. Like I don't think we'll be eating dongos in the in the. I don't know, actually, because the dongo system is is strictly tied to how how we, we choose our dongos to choose our meals, right? So it's hard to, it's hard to tell. But maybe, maybe what they'll do is they'll have the same system, but just with different types of food instead of just all being dongos. That could be one way of doing it. Who knows? There should be bullfangos here. There's usually bullfangos in uh, Misty Peaks. You can get gargoyle eggs and stuff too. Layered cake or pie, something like that. Yeah, like a, a layering. Yeah, layered cake would be a great way of doing it. Dongos are technically dessert anyway, right? Kami Lost, thank you for the resub. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. Oh, I missed. Wow. God, it's hard to like. Okay, hold on. Ow. Knock that dude down. Get out of here. Mine. Leave me be. Yeah, you can do that with Dongo. I think mostly they use them as a. Des they're just like dessert Dongos or something with like stuff out on the outside of them. So it's mostly just a pastry. Why do I miss? Like, this holy shit, that doesn't hit? That's crazy. Oh, you're done. He probably didn't die to that, though. There we go. You're done. They should bring back Great Jaggy. I've been asking for that. There's two monsters I want to come back. There's two monsters I'm asking for in Sunbreak. One of them is Lagaya Cruz, and the other one is, is Great Jaggy. Please, God, bring back Great Jaggy. I've been, I've been asking. I've been seeing your messages. Go get damage there. Nice, five more. Bring back Fatalis. No, I'm I'm tired of Fatalis. I'm tired. I don't need Fatalis anymore. I don't know who they would. Br I feel like if they're gonna bring back something that's like, oh look at look at Gabe back there. See him over there. If they're gonna bring back like a big Elder Dragon, it'll probably be like uh, Lao Shanlong or Shen Gao Ren or something. Cause they already did the Black Dragons, right? Or Jen. Bring back Jen. I want to hunt Jen Moran somewhere. Yamakurai? Yamakurai? Yamasukami? Shen Gaoran, my beloved. Back here. Back here. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're done. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So I can do this and just tap Y and I get the full combo? That's so much better. Okay, I did not realize that. Yeah, just like how Fatalis got a huge rework, a lot of these fights would need big, re big reworks too, right? Can you guys stop? I'm trying to curve. Get out of here. Gimme. Gimme. Yeah, if we had Shen Gao Ren riding Lao Shan Long, that'd be a pretty good fight. I think I would enjoy that fight. I would enjoy that hunt. I think it would be pretty pretty decent. Alright, oh, another Jagia. Almost done here. Get out of here. No way you're getting up from that one, buddy. I think Ignactor is probably coming back. I think Zamtrios is probably coming back. I think Ignactor is coming back. Maybe. I don't know. You know, a lot of people see the Jagias in in uh, in Rise and think that means that like Great Jaggy is coming back, but the Jagias are in this game, and this is the Ultimate Edition, and J Great Jaggy still isn't here. You know? Yeah. Don't bring. No, I don't like Great Jaggers. Great Dragos is like the weakest one out of all those, in my opinion. That's just me, though. Bring back Crow Peko, yeah. Crow Peko would be sick. Crow Peko just. If you watch my video on the invaders, I just don't think Crow Peko could reasonably function with like the base they have set up for. Uh, 
Maybe it would still work. It would just like call the monsters over or something. It's just you know the whole po the whole thing about Kropaku calling stuff over was that you had no idea where the shit was gonna show up from. Do I still need to kill one more? I I could see Nebel Snarf coming back. I don't know about Devil Joe. Like I don't think Devil Joe would come back. It'd be cool if he did, but I just I don't I'm not expecting it. You know. Actually, oh no, that was we need to go to Verdant Hills at some point. I think one of these quests will actually take us there, and we're going to try and get the bugs that we need for one of the set pieces. God, I have such a hard time aiming with this weapon. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can end that with a... Uh, got it. Okay. Yeah, bring back Gormagala. Bring back Celtus. Celtus should definitely come back. They, they've been done dirty throughout the series. Najarala as well. Nadjarala has had such a bad, such such bad representation within the series, really. You know, like it would be cool. I like Celtus, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of like Celtus. Like I've never been like av actively advocating for it, but I think like you know it, it deserves to come back by this point. Same with Nadjarala. No Crystal Beard, yeah. No crit. No Deviants. No Deviants. I like deviance, but <gasps> shit. No, I'm gonna run out of time. I need you to die really fast. Okay, he's dead. Hold on. Don't quest complete me here. Gimme. Got one. Okay, we got one. We got one. We got one. Oh, low battery. Shit. The controller's dying. Crouch Carve is faster. Is it faster in this game? Crouch Carve is faster. But like you can hold the button in this game, so I don't know if it's faster. Alright, there we go. Cat's got some stuff. How longer is Crouch Carve in actuality? If you Crouch Carve in like the older games, like in Freedom Unite, it just, I don't know how much, it's faster for sure, but I don't know how much faster. It basically just means that you're not, you're not crouching down and getting up each time, right? So if you're Crouch Carve, you're just down. So like, it, it is definitely faster in some capacity. I just don't know how, how much. All right, let's turn this in. She has another one for us. Gonna be a lot of these. Oh, an Arzuros. Okay, cool. Oh, and she wants to talk to me. And she gave me a ticket. Nice. All right, next up, we are going to do the. I gotta go put this stuff away, but can I... I should probably put this stuff away first. I have a lot on me. Uh, can I go into my house here? Is it the Yakumo house? Oh, I was wondering. So you get to see all the houses. That's pretty cool. I like that. I couldn't remember if they did that. The time builds up, yeah. If you've been playing Monster Hunter for like 10 years and you've exclusively crouch carved, you've probably saved yourself like a couple days of carving. Realistically. Hey, your cute uncle. What's up? Good to see you. We're, uh, there is no other village. We, we've gone to all the villages. There's, um, there's Yakumo, there's Pokey, there's Kokoto and Burna, and then there's the hub. We'll, I guess we will stop by the hub in a second. Wait, I should have stayed here because someone wanted to talk to me. There's a lot of talking to people in this game. All right, see, Bean. Oh, it's just for this person. There you go. Get out of the way. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. No, damn it. No. Oh. I didn't mean to do this. I'm so. Uh, my buttons are all confused. Hey, Leith, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, the flying ship's in uh, what? High rank? Welcome to the hub. I like the original hub that they have for this area. Like, I think it's really nice. I, do, I don't mind going into like the sky and like living in a fucking tavern there. I think that's pretty cool. There's the high rank girl. There's the cat chef. That's like the cat chef, the real one. Imagine owning a house. 
Rookie hunter here, blah, blah, blah. Giving us some, uh, some tips. Some tips and tricks. We got the food, dude. What else we got here? Oh my god, everybody wants to talk to me. Alright, yeah, Y Academy, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, just giving me a full tour. And we are HR1. Congratulations, everybody. We're already HR1. How's it feel? There's this kid. Guild store clerk. Actually, she might sell. Hold on. Does she sell? There's no way they sell it yet. That'd be crazy. No, oh, okay. She do be fine. Little cat girl. And then the white academy gal. Oh, there's so much there's so much upkeep in this game or, or I don't, maybe filler would be the word I don't know you know like where you just have to like do shit all the time in between quests so many people you have to talk to all the time so many things to do so so many things to see hello yeah I understand that thank you okay what do you got new skills for me maybe no you're the arena guy all right cool all right I think we're good but there's still somebody that wants to talk to me here in the prep area. Take me to the prep area. Take me away. Like, they all have to have a conversation with me and introduce themselves to me just in case you haven't been going through the village. They want you to know how to do everything. Alright. I think we're good. I think... Okay, I think we can go back to... We'll go to Berna. Why is there? I know, right? He looks like a red mage. The hunt is that the uh, what is that armor called usually? It's called like uh, guild armor, right? Guild armor always looks like red mage shit. Okay, we're gonna talk to this person here. We'll see what they want us to do. Brigade? Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Slay the Velocipray. There's an Arzuros. We're gonna save all the big ones until we get through all the small dudes. We'll go do this one. This is Gia Prey, I believe. I'm not even gonna. I should have eaten. Damn. I'll, I'll eat next time. <laughs> Let's go, butter. Hell yeah. Oh, perfect. Oh no, this is this is not perfect. This is uh, not where I want it to be. It's fine. We'll do this one first. But we need to go to Vernon Hills, and so we can collect bugs. Gia prey doesn't have a heart. Like Gia prey? It might be. It might be Gia prey. I. It could be. Me, me and pronunciations in this game do not have like a, uh, a good history. I recommend doing all the requests at the very least, Chinny. But yeah, there's there's just too many. They just fill it up with too many quests to like be able to actively do all of them, you know? Uh, yeah, we'll try and speed this up a bit. Gia Prey and Gia Drum are probably the worst of the small monsters for me, considering they're just white velocity. Yeah, that's fair. I don't have. Yeah, I don't have the Chaos Oil yet. Getting the Chaos Oil would be sick, though. You love what I'm not using Longsword, dude. It's actually torture. Like freaking learning learning Hunting Horn for those early streams was was really tough. Um, how is the how is the VTuber reveal? Oh, there's there's Bull Drum here. Hell yeah. How's the bolt? How's the VTuber reveal plan? Um, will you do a G retrospective eventually? Yeah, probably. G retrospective will probably be next, the world after the world one, and after we've done this playthrough, and then after that, it's probably going to be the uh, a four U one. The retrospectives are gonna stop showing up for a while because I, I haven't replayed the games recently. So the only reason I did those one those ones that I have is because I had the game fresh in my mind. So that's why GU would be next because we would have just played it. I've been playing the game since... You feel moisturized? Nice. I've been playing the game since release and still don't have the Chaos Oil 3. Yeah, so to get Chaos Oil 3, we need to fight, I think, at two hyper monsters. And they're, it's a gold and silver wrath. So that is going to be kind of lame, unfortunately. It's going to be pretty tough. Um, I think... I don't know if we'll need it for what we're doing. Like, to beat Atalka, you definitely don't need it. 
like at all like we'll probably just get two if anything but we'll try we'll try it do they stay in the same area as one another honestly man like them being hypers is like really the the biggest issue there but the metal wraths aren't all that they they are fairly easy to deal with we we have so much experience fighting the metal wraths in old school at this point we, we we've dealt with them at their absolute jankiest you know but like the issue is just how much damage they do as hypers and stuff like that It's really the, really the hypers that are the issue, but there, there is that, not that I've ever actively utilized it, but hypers have that mechanic where like they glow in a specific spot, and then while glowing in that specific, if you attack said spot, you get like extra, uh, what would you call it, skill boost or whatever. Transmog is introduced in G rank, yeah, I'm pretty sure, because you have, to, you, well no, it might be high rank, because you have to have access to, I think you get access to the lab in high rank, I might be wrong about that. Alright, five left. Good. Coffee time. Coffee time. Thanks, babe. Frankie moment in chat. There was this tweet that there was this tweet today that was like, if you unfollow someone on Twitch or something because they mention or they talk about their significant other or how they go on dating, you know, that's like cringe shit. And I, I quote tweeted it and I was like, yo, Frankie moment in chat. Like everybody knows about, everybody knows about Frankie. Good. Yep. Frankie moment. Wait, what do you mean fortress and castle walls? I don't understand. What does that have to do with them being hyper? Do you fight them in like an arena? Pita. <laughs> everybody, <laughs> everybody playing the pita. Frankie top two. I can't believe how well she does that. What is transmog? So the, the term, it's layered armor, chatter. But the term transmogification was coined in World of Warcraft. That was their term for it. It wasn't layered armor, it was transmogification. So because World of Warcraft was so revolutionary and also very, uh, it, it, World of Warcraft was probably one of the games that first did it to be honest. Um, and so a lot of people still call it transmogs, regardless of the game it's in. Oh, I see uh, Cody, I think. I think it's Cody. I see. Yeah. This game is very challenging in a lot of cool ways. We need to find like one or two more Jeepra. Do they limit movement? Avery, good to see you. Welcome back. I hope you've been well. I told Frankie to start streaming. I said like, I was like, yo, just like pick some times. You can just like use my computer to stream. She doesn't know what she would do. I'll do it. I'll get a duo stream going with her or something at some point. She doesn't like being on camera, that's the issue. I told her to become a VTuber. It's easier. That'd be a, yeah, Mabel stream. Woo, I missed. Hyper Zamtrius one-shotted you? I don't think a Hyper Devil Joe could one-shot me in uh, this game. I don't know how a Hyper Zamtrius did it. Yeah, she, she well, she really likes Final Fantasy XIV. That's like her main thing right now. Frankie has beaten the entirety of the Final Fantasy XIV storyline on two different characters and has done Shadowbringers four times now. I think three times and is on her fourth. Shadowbringers specifically, the new game plus. What? Just talking about how you like uh, Final Fantasy. Yeah, it does have the counter costume if you time it. How do you even become a VTuber? Yo, I just reached 100k bits. How, how much money is 100k bits? It's like... I think 100 bits is a dollar, right? 
So a thousand bits would be ten dollars. So that's a hundred dollars. Do you just get bits naturally? I don't actually use Twitter or Twitch. Sorry. To become a VTuber, you just you make a model. That's about it. Or you have somebody make you a model, and you set up all the software and stuff like that, and then you have it appear on a screen. A hundred thousand is a thousand dollars. What? Oh, the research points things. I thought you were talking about Twitch <laughs> Pistacle. I was like, God damn, dude. Have you seen the Street Fighter 6 teaser? They made Ryu Chris Redfield. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, that's Capcom's like, that's Capcom's bread and butter for whatever reason. They make wide men. And like, good for them, honestly. We need more wide men out there. Not enough wide boys. All right, I need to put this stuff away. <laughs> Minecraft Steve, store items. Someone stole, someone on YouTube stole my joke. I made the joke that Ryu looked like the guy that stole the Nintendo Switch in his mouth. And then there was a YouTube video that had that. I made that joke and they stole it from me. Full disclosure, full disclosure. Yeah, I love wide representation. I, I'm kind of a wide boy. Like you can't really tell, but like my torso is like, like no matter how much I work out or whatever, it doesn't get like that, a very slimming frame. It's a very square frame. So it, it feels good, you know? Give me, give me that square representation. People are like, oh, look, we can fix him, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, bro, no, no, no. He, he doesn't need to be fixed, okay? He's beautiful the way he is. Leave him alone. All right, 10 Velocipray coming up. And we're also going to be trying to get some bugs here. Oh, yeah, we got to eat. Yeah, Potemkin's a white boy. All the all the wide boys out there. Bowser, Bowser's wide. How do I know if I've made something already? I'm trying to remember how you make the combinations so that you get new ingredients. Am I doing something wrong? Do I have to talk to her? Oh, this is what you do. I remember. This is this this is literally the silliest mechanic. They should have just given you the stuff because. All you have to do is be like, okay, can I, no, I can't do anything here. Cool. Can I do anything here? No. Can I do anything here? No. Can I do anything here? Yes. Boom. Done. Okay. Done. Stupid. No skill. No skill. This game loves throwing like no skill, uh, mediocre content at you in between it. Not, not this game, but the series, like the Steamworks. Steamworks is the worst defender, obviously. Press Y to sort by usable, bro. I didn't know you could do that. What the fuck? See, I didn't even know that, man. When I, I, I've played this game from start to finish and done pretty much all of the content with Longsword, and it was a blur. It was like a blur. I have a buddy um, named Troy. When this game came out, we would go... I worked at a bar in Ottawa, right? In uh, uh, the Blurry Pixel. And when I worked there, it's like a gamer bar. So, like, I would, like, sit at the bar if I wasn't working. I, I was there all the time. Um, and, uh, I like maybe play on my switch or something like that. And my buddy Troy would come and we would just play monster hunter together all the time. He like, he just like, I stopped playing for a while. Cause I, I was like kind of bored with GU and he just like drove me through G rank for like a couple hours. It was awesome doing all the, like the key quests and stuff like that. Really appreciated that. Blurry pixel is the best bar game. It's a, it's a game bar. Game bar. I don't know why they changed the name of this map though. You know, like why name it? Why name it Verdant Hills? Wow, Roki, you lied to me. Garbage. Can't believe you would do that. Oh, is that dung? We should actually get some of that. See, look, you don't. Ha I'm holding the A button, so we don't have to. We don't have to crouch. This was this was the first game to do that too. So crouch ca crouch canceling was removed in this game. You didn't have to do it anymore. They, they this is like. You know, in like the FGC, when like they, they they simplify things and everybody gets mad about it, this was this was my deal breaker, right here. The fact that I could hold A to do everything, I was so I was so pissed. Okay, we're looking for uh, some sort of green bug. Not flash bug though. Not royal rhino either. I think it starts with an S. It, they really did make it more green though. eh? there's like a green tint on everything too. I don't think it was necessary. This this map actually looks better in the older entries. Like it looks better in Freedom Unite. 
in my opinion. They just added, like, grass. They added, like, really bad grass. And maybe better, like, world textures out there or something. I don't know. It's unnecessary change. Stick hopper? Maybe. Or shiny beetle. It might be shiny beetle. Someone said I could get it here, though, so I'm praying. There you go. You're dead. Grab. The, the 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 thing okay so like for me for me the the game that had the best color balance was three ultimate like easily three ultimate is by far the most colorful yet clear experience you can have in a monster hunter game it it like it it hits this perfect balance you know it, it's so good um, and then four, in my opinion, is just, it's just a little too, like, warm, warm, saturated colors. And then this game is just very vibrant and saturated. Um, with, like, these really high contrast points in certain, in certain areas. Like, the shadows feel very, like, almost too dark on certain things. You know? Yeah, four U was very orange. And like I feel like it, it, I feel like three U was just very good at feeling like very like open outdoors on a sunny day, you know, this brightness, this vibrance, the vibrancy, but like not too much. It was just it was a perfect balance. Is what I'm trying to say. Portable third was okay. Portable portable third was like it wasn't as good for sure, but I mean it was on the PSP. Shadows are dark because ledges were introduced. <laughs> what do you mean? Coral Highlands in the world had a weird exposure. There's an area in 4U that has like an awful exposure. On the first map you go to, if you go to where the wyvern eggs are, it's just like, God, it feels like the sun is like burning through your skin. It's awful. Everything's like white. All the color has been removed, bleached from the sun by the sun. Yeah, it's true. This is really just an upscale DS game, so. Why are you white? How many more of these guys do I have to kill? I don't want to kill all of them. Because I want to go look for bugs. Did it turn down your brightness in Celiana? Let me make sure I haven't killed all of the ones I need. Okay, we need to kill 10. So we got, we got, we can kill these two, and then we'll need two more. That's annoying. I have to, you have to really like aim that. There we go. Yeah, both Fangos are probably one of the most comedic monsters in this game. Thanks for the posture check. What up, Gate? Oh, he moved. He moved to the bed. He was behind me earlier. Okay, where can I find these bugs, man? I, f I feel like... I feel like if there's going to be bug gathering locations, there's probably going to be some up here. I thought there'd be one here. I'll try up here first. We'll try 10 and 11. They look like fireflies, so you just have to keep an eye out for fireflies. We'll try 11. Yeah, we've alchemy. There's, there hasn't been many uh, instances where it's been necessary. What's the bar above your name? Oh, that's the alchemy bar. So that's that shows you how many charges of the alchemy barrel you've had. You have. Did I, oh, I wasn't even looking to see if there was bugs. Okay. What? Okay. Frankie moment. Don't worry, baby. You're hidden behind my head. No one can even see you. Run. Run. See? See what I'm talking about? She doesn't like being on camera. Royal Rhino. Carpenter Bug. I mean, I want that too. We'll swap that for something. What do I really not need? I don't... I want all of these. Literally all of these I want. I guess I can get rid of these. We'll get rid of this. Please, just give me the give me the scatter bug or whatever I need. I don't remember. Shiny beetle, I think. Give me a shiny beetle. Stop giving me royal rhino. Alright. 
Hmm. Hmm. Come back. Oh yeah, I have a husk. Yeah, I'll get rid of that next if I need to. I forgot I had the husk on me. I need to I need to bring like a lighter item set for like this early content. I, I like set up like our end game item set already because the game let me. But we don't, we realistically aren't gonna need all that stuff for a long period of time. By the way, Guck Mock. I don't think I said thank you for the follow, so thank you. Appreciate it. Weird name. All right, boys. Come on, shiny beetle. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the house. Ow. Hopefully the cats don't kill these guys. Broke my bug net. Real Rhino. Real Rhino. Thunderbug. I mean, we're set on... Where is the husk? There it is. We're, we're set on Royal Rhinos for the rest of the game, so that's cool. Royal Rhino. Is there another area I could check that might have this? Royal Rhino? <laughs> Fuck. Um, let's try seven. What is this? Don't... No, no, no. Shit. Yeah, I don't want mushrooms. So I'm good. Other gathering spot in eight, eight and nine. I haven't been to nine yet, have I? We checked eight, so we'll try nine. Yeah, I, I'm just, I'm like rolling in rhinos, man. I don't I don't see a gathering point here. Am I missing a gathering point? Would it be in here? Oh yeah. Okay. What? Excuse me? A max potion? I don't think so, sir. Get him. Give me my shit back. Get Oh my god, they're like in the worst spot, man. There we go, got it back. Dude! Get him. Fuck him up. Beating up this dude in an alley, man. God damn. Alright, leave me alone. Carpenter bug. God bug. Uh, fuck. I'll buy more affinity oil. God bug. Royal Rhino. Oh my lord, dude. Hopefully the cats got some or something. This is ridiculous. Don't. No, don't fucking gather. Stop gathering. You moron. More bugs. God bug. God bug. Okay, there might be one more gathering point here. We'll take a look real quick. Assuming the freaking felines leave us alone. No, the barrel makes things. It, it has a charge. The barrel has a charge that you fill up over time. And by attacking monsters, you, there's ways you can make a charge up faster. And then it has tiers based on which charge level you decide to use. So you can charge it once. You can charge it up to five times. And each of those different tiers of charge have different items they can produce. But if you make the item from that tier, can you fuck? Get him, boys. Get him. Kill him. I mean, yeah. There, there was definitely, like, some sort of, like... Unfortunate, like... They definitely they definitely weren't thinking when they were, like, creating the... Melinks. Okay, here. We can kill another uh, Bulfango, at least. This is oh yeah we're like we're like two star we're very low rank we're just like we're like coasting this game is like <laughs> nothing's happening yet you know all right we're gonna go kill those other Velociprey. hope I'm hoping that the can't I'm hoping that the cats got something if not we'll have to come back here on like a harvest tour or something no I obviously obviously it's not for that reason hamster that would be that would be truly awful.
the Bill Jaggy armor rank. Yep. Absolutely. Um, we're, I don't know if it's Shiny Beetle, but somebody told me that the thing that we did need was here, and I don't think I got it. So we're going to go back and we're going to check. We're going we're gonna to double check. We'll see. I don't have fast forward, so I can't, I can't, like, I, don't, I, I can't turbocharge through this, like, waiting time. L plus three cards plus no Wrath Ruby. We don't have to worry about Wrath Rubies for a while. Potentially ever. Leave me alone. Why is eBay emailing me? Oh, I got a lot of, like, hold on. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm good. Yeah, I want to see Cha-Cha and Kayamba, man. It's common in the dunes. Have we, well, we'll probably be going to the dunes for Cephadrome, so we can try it there. It was Shiny Beetles. Okay. Yeah, Cha-Cha and Kayamba make cameos here. If we get really lucky, the cats would have got one. I don't see it. I think it's green. Carpenter. All right. Looks like we're going to be praying for dunes. We might be able to make some of the other stuff at least. Because we just need to make the uh, Bullfango stuff. And we're going to make a jaggy weapon. So let's talk to this guy real quick. We need a lot of Bullfango stuff, so I, I imagine we can't make the Bullfango stuff yet. Uh, let's see. We don't need the Jaggy Helm. Oh, it's not even showing up yet, I don't think. Not quite yet. What's Edel Bloom? Hmm. We'll have to kill more Bullfangos. Is Bulldrum in this game? No, don't, don't craft that. Thank you. Can I make the chest, maybe? I don't see the chest yet. It's technically the Bulldrome set. Okay, so we would probably have to wait to fight Bulldrome, which I'm sure will happen naturally. But uh, we'll just see here real quick. I can make all the fucking Renopla shit if I want to. Because we don't see anything yet. Mana, thank you for the follow. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, we can try and upgrade, though. So we can make the Soldier's Dagger. This is what I wanted to make. Huh, what do we make? Okay, so this is... Let's see. So this is... We're, we can bring it up to the Soldier's Dagger which gets one slot, or we can bring it up to the Serpent's Bite, which gets two slots and each Sharp Fangs. This thing needs $8,000 for some reason. And I can't level it up without Beelite Ore, which I don't have. Mises, I think the Mizutsune encounter is a bull drum hunt. Oh, okay. Yeah, but where do I get Sharp Fangs? We fought all those things and we haven't gotten Sharp Fangs yet. This game, um, if you if you play if you play GU now, there is all these events and like milestones. So there's all this DLC. When you download all the DLC, they give you all of these like eggs and that are purely for selling. And so you can just sell them all and get like max money. The fish, the sandfish, conchus. I don't think it's from is it from conchus. So we're waiting then, eh? Okay. Well, I guess we'll wait. Let me try and level up the rest of the ship first. Not gonna equip that yet. Sharp claws, don't have that. So what do we have currently? So this is 100 in yellow, this is 80 in green. I feel like 100 in yellow is like better than 80 in green. I don't know the, I haven't done the math because I don't know what the scaling is. But with eight, with green at the very least, we're not bouncing, so that's nice. 
Yeah, so you have to level up weapons in this game, actually. In this game, you level up weapons to unlock tiers of upgrades. So see how, like, Lidroth's Nail and Bone Tabar are, are here? And, like, potentially craftable now? But I can't actually activate these things. To, to get these, I would have to level up this pure Bone Chris to level, like, 8 in order to get that level that level 8 one, just to see what it is. It's like 5%. I think it would... With, to prevent bouncing, I think it's fine to just keep using this. And plus, these hunts aren't particularly difficult yet. So I think I'll keep what we got for now. We're going to go turn in those... Uh, oops. We're going to go turn in those quests that we have. Someone in Burnham wants to talk to me. What do you mean use oils and you won't bounce? Is that what sharpness does? Sharpness oil? Okay, we'll go to Kokoto. So what do we got to hunt? We got to hunt like a Arzuros. We got to hunt uh Oh, you can get a Mind's Eye oil? That would be sick. That would be pretty cool. No, we don't have it yet. We don't have that yet. We only have two oils. So now we have to hunt a Velocidrome. SNS for life. Well, you are in the right... Ooh. You are in the right... Uh, <laughs> the right channel. Because like this is all we're going to be doing for the conceivable future. Until we beat it. Yeah, there's so many easy things that you get with this weapon. It's pretty cool. Alright. Mountain Rough Rider. What is it? We're using uh, alchemy. So we had an incentive when I was streaming Monster Hunter World, and people could vote for like the style and weapon, and it ended up being uh, alchemy SNS. Unfortunately for me. All right. So what do we got? We got a Velocidrome hunt. We got an Arzuros hunt. We got a Bulldrome hunt. Let's go. We'll do the Bulldrome hunt. Obviously, we need to do that. We need the equipment. Gonna make sure I store everything that I don't need. God bug. Work, and I'm gonna go buy some more affinity oil. Cause I sold all mine. Where are my oils? There you go. Where, who? Where do I eat? Oh, here we go. Gotta make sure we eat. Right, which is I only really need health what gives me good health here 20 health here rider provoker feel we get booster hell yeah booster's great who's worse cephadrum or bull drum yeah, infinitely worse infinitely worse bull drum's a fun fight it's a very simplistic easy fight there's there's nothing too crazy about it I don't think there's actually any issues with bull drum realistically, except for the fact that you're going to be running into a lot of bullfangos, and that's like naturally annoying. There's the guild balloon. Gives us some free flash. Um, I guess I can get rid of my whetstones in my inventory. Yeah. All right, hold on. How do I do this in this game? No, that's not it. There we go. He's in five. We're going to try and counter the instant charge with Shoryugeki if we manage to. Hey, I would never kick a cat. I'd kick a palico. Would I kick a cat? No. Would I kick a palico? Yes. What are you going to do? Send me to Moga Jail? Gay baby jail? No, sir. Is Bullfango in this game? Not, sorry, is Blangonga in this game? Not Moga Jail. Imagine the Freedom Unite Hunter seeing this hunter just like fucking shoot up the mountain in like two seconds. He'd be so pissed. Yeah. 
you're done. Easy peasy. Alright, I wanna fight this guy. Should be a cutscene. My man! Mr. Jerome, hello! Yo, we can cut off tails in this game. Holy shit. It's been forever. We didn't cut a single tail in World. Can you believe that? Hey, right, bro. Let's go, gamers. It's time. What are you gonna do? You gonna fucking charge at me? Stupid? Moron? Did, that, did you did you run through that flash bomb? You, you're insane. You're crazy. Holy shit. This guy means business. Okay, come on. Yeah! Oh, I attacked the wrong one. I'm gonna mount a Bulfango. Oh, he's dead. Here you go. I'm gonna carve this. Cutscenes are okay. They're, like, good for what they are. For, like, what generation they are. In my opinion. Hold on. Did that hit? Bro, stand down. All right, cool. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta get our alchemy barrel ready. Oh, it's over here. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, sh Jesus. Okay, we're gonna flash bomb. We're gonna flash bomb. Well, Fango. Or bull Bulldrum. Bulldrum. Hey. Hey. Hey, look at me. Oh, look at me. Look at me. Turn. Got him. Okay. We're gonna... I'm gonna grab God, it's so far away. Okay, one, two, three. Alchemy booster. Make an alchemy booster. Okay, we're gonna drink our alchemy booster, like so. I'm gonna re-up on oil. Remember XA attacking before the ledge? With my weapon out? I am so confused about that. I don't understand that. Oh. Oh shit, okay. I only I only did that so that I could. Uh, activate my alchemy barrel. Now, now he just needs to chill out. Hey, bro. Oh, we got a subquest complete. Nice. That'll be good for us. Oh, he's gonna charge here. Let him, oh, fuck. Ow. Luckily, we have insane armor because of the armor spheres they gave us early. Don't do it. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm literally not even here to fight him. Realistically. Like, I am really, I am really just... Stop! I'm really just trying to carve this Bulfango. Come on, come on, come on. We got it. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, oh! How did I dodge that? You're done, buddy. Now. Okay. Cheesiest fight? I'm not sure. Damn. Get shit on, King. Ow. Oh, I can block in this game. Hell yeah. Yo, beast mode! Beast mode. I need a beast mode. Uh, I need. I need a fly and saying beast mode sound clip. I can hear it in his voice. Hey, right, buddy. Stay away from me, sir. Let's try for a. What can? I, oh god. What can I make here? What can I make here? Let's see. Oh, hold on. Yeah. We gotta do, uh, we gotta do X and A before... Hold on, let me see. Can I do it here? Oh! Oh! We're going sickle mode. We're going sickle mode. Oh, he's down! Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Oh, we still get it? That's such a weird trigger. Okay. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Oh my god! I'm gonna lose it! I'm gonna lose it! He went beast mode! You're done, kid. You're done, kid. Get on the ground, kid. Stay down. Stay on the ground, kid. That's where you belong, kid. All right, hold on. Yee, 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 yee. Wait, wait for it. Yee, 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 yee. This weapon is insane. I need to. Oh, oh my God, he's already dead. Yeah, this is nothing like having defender equipment at all. No sir. Stay on the ground, buddy. Stay on the fucking ground, sir. Bullfango head! I took his head off! Disgusting. Disgusting. Disgu oh. Oh my god. And his child. Good night.
Did you see me? Did you see me rip off his head? There are wild hogs out there, B. What was that one tweet that guy made one time where he's like trying to express why he deserved to own a gun? And it's like because he wanted to protect his family from like feral hogs or something. Damn, Gabe looking crazy. Oh, that's Searsha. Searsha went beast mode. 100 wild hogs. <laughs> when You know, when 100 wild hogs come down, I want to be able to defend myself, save my family. Thirty to fifty. Was it thirty to fifty? Thirty to fifty wild hogs. Hogs don't mess around. That's so true. All right. Hey, KRS, what's up? Good to see you. Look at those rewards. All right, let's. Uh, we should be able to make that stuff now. Perfect for us. What's the point of an airship ticket? What does that do? Because it doesn't cost anything to travel between towns, right? All right, she's done for now, so that's good. My favorite smithy. Hello. Oh, you're the you're the cat, right? This is the smith. What's up, my man? I would like to airship themed weapons. Oh, okay. I would like to forge armor, please. Cool. Bullfango mask, hell yeah. Easy Bullfango mask, we can almost make it. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm that dude from Demon Slayer. That anime I haven't watched yet. I'm pretty sure we go for this one though, right? Not a big fan of it, but we'll make it work. Right, that's it. We're gonna have to fight that bull drum a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that now. It's the cap? There's no fucking way, really? You're just saying shit at that point. If it's the cap, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why does the cap give attack three? What the fuck? God damn it. Well, we had to fight him again anyway. What? Wasn't capping about the cap. These ones are the same. Well, no, we're not getting the chest anyway. We're getting the uh, jaggy chest. Ugh, I'm gonna have to fight him again, eh? Okay, so we do need the braces. We don't need that. And we, the greaves or the leggings work, so I'll go for the greaves. We're gonna be ugly. Oh my god. All right, I'm wearing the wrong headpiece. I mean, it's not a big deal. We'll just we'll make it again later. But wait, does the game save after? A hunt? We saved, right? Oh, hell yeah. How do I how do I turn it off? Don't look at my don't look at my game. Don't look at my games. Is that Charlie XCX? You guys know I've been playing Xenoblade. I've talked about how I'm playing Xenoblade. I mean, I'm not playing it right now because Elden Ring's out. I can't believe they announced another Pokemon game. I was I was so shook. It feels like Sword and Shield just came out. Yeah, I like Isabel a lot. I actually play a lot of Isabel in Smash. <laughs> no. Um, no, Flyan didn't recommend it to me. I was... Uh, 
funny enough, before Fly Ann and I were making content, or before I started to make content, and before I saw him making content or anything like that, I was playing through Xenoblade 2 and thinking how ass it is and how much I hate it. But then uh, the, the the definitive edition came out. I think I did talk to him about it, and I was like, hey, should I, should I get the definitive edition? He was like, yeah, it's good. So I ended up getting it. And I've, I'm at... Uh, the town full of winged people right now. Yeah, where's Pokemon Gun? Alright. Let's do this again. You beat it today? Nice. Don't spoil it. I actually don't I have never been spoiled on Xenoblade. I would I would like to like keep it that way. I somehow, I don't know how. That game is fairly popular. So we're making the Bullfango, the Bulldrome cap of all things, the Bulldrome cap. So it doesn't give us very good defense, but that's okay. Now what, what, what else do we really need for this set? Let me see. Uh, forge armor, so we need the arms. We need Bulldrum Tusk, so we'll have to hunt Bulldrum again. And we need, we need three tusks. How am I gonna get three tusks? We didn't break his tusk in that hunt. So that's a little worrying. Should I just, should I just A button mash his head? You think that would be the best way to do it? You think I could break it? It's impact damage, right? So it should be better. You can't break his tusks? So it's just pure luck? Hmm, okay. You think you'd be able to break them with like how friggin' gigantic they are, right? Oh yeah, you don't talk to her. That's super weird that you don't talk to her for the quests. Where's the one I just completed? There we go. One of these gave me booster. Does it always give booster? No. I'll take Oracle though. So it's just luck. He's weak to stun though. Maybe we'll try getting a knockout with stamina. Oil. That'd be funny. It should have been the Chiefs you talked to. I think it's weird. Also, like all this, all the towns feel a little more cramped now because of all the additional features they had to throw in there. This fight goes by so fast. I don't even like really get to utilize the alchemy stuff. Hey, Bowie, and thank you for the follow, Shining Blaziken. Appreciate it. Fifteen percent from Carve. Is it a quest reward? Mountain Rough Rider. Yeah, it's very sad, especially coming from Freedom Unite. Like I still have, I still have like Freedom Unite fresh in my brain, so. Any liquid snake at some point? What do you mean? Oh god. And it's gonna wait. Oh. Oh, yeah, there it goes. I knew it was gonna waste it. I knew he was gonna hit me just as it came out. What a little bastard. I do like how he just like vibes there. All right, 
stamina. Ow. Turn around, bro. Oh, it's X plus A. I missed! Ow. Okay, getting some good hits in. Fireball is ass. I'm not going to get the alchemy barrel for it. I mean, I might. It's at four, right? Or is that five? Probably at four. There we go. Knockout. Easy. Come here. Oh, God. That one? This weapon is insane. This is like, ins <laughs> Sword and Shield's crazy. Want fireballs? I'll give you fireballs. damage does that do like that's insane that's crazy <laughs> oh my god that's the second time we've gotten a kill with that i can't believe how i know it's a bulge bull drone but like i can't believe how fast we're killing stuff in like low rank with low rank gear it's crazy I wish I knew the exact values of that weapon. A nice bomb throw? Hmm. Oh, I see. You can double attack there. I mean, you can do that while getting up, right? Bit of bear. Yeah, I'm like uh, I'm like one of I'm like Donkey Kong 64 here. All right, pray we got some tusks. I didn't check. I didn't. Did I get one when I carved? I didn't look. I'm not completely sure. Oh, we got two there. We only needed three. No. Well, two's still good. So this this set's almost done. I assume feline pyro would boost it. I don't know though. What the fuck? What are you doing here? Hey! This is the best cook in the game. There's no better cook in the game than this dude. What do you want me to do? How do you check your uh How do you check your requests? Complete the one star, the ingredient of legend, okay. Yeah, yeah, hamster. Okay, we are making the bull drum greaves. Right? Yeah. We're gonna equip it. So the last thing we need, other than the jaggy piece, are the arms. The Bulldrome Braces, and we have everything we need except a Tusk. So one more hunt should do it if we're lucky. We should be able to just finish this set off.
I'm looking for booster. I just want to speed up the process. And what did we get booster in last time? Isn't this? Not seeing it this time, though. Oh, woo! It is there. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean, I, I get alchemy gives you a lot, right? It kind of makes sense to limit the move set because of how much alchemy gives you, but like alchemy, but it gives you that for like a, a party, so it, it's a bit hard in uh, solo. Alrighty, uh, let's see. There he is. Summer gremlin tier, fair enough. Hi, Rad. Thank you for the content. Love from Brazil. That's going towards Gunlance, by the way. You got it. Gunlance coming in. 25. Gunlance is up to $122.51. R plus X, 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 A. I'll try it. Which MH game is next? Four ultimate. R plus X, X. Wait, R plus X, 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 A, A. That's what you meant, right? I think that was it. For you, yeah. We do love Brazil. We love Brazil. BR, BR, BR. Hey, Waken. It's going well. Thank you for asking. How are you? Let's go kill us a... Bullfango. Bulldrum. Oh, I'm holding. Oh. Uh. That? Is that what you're talking about? Okay. So that's the fastest? And then do I roll afterwards or do I just keep going? Weapon so weird, man. Oh yeah, you missed Tom York and Kendrick. They were here. Everybody that was here can attest to Tom York and Kendrick being here. Right? What the fuck? <laughs> okay. It's hard to like do all the stuff we just talked about in practice. I'm missing a lot because of it. I mean, we got an easy uh, knockout at least. Okay, okay. It's okay, sure. I want to be playing Elden Ring too, so I totally get it. Can't blame anybody for playing Elden Ring. And I don't think I would blame anybody for not watching the stream anyway, regardless of the situation. the fuck was that? I didn't know he could do that. Going for the double knockdown percent. I have never seen that before. In the history of Monster Hunter, I have never seen that before. Yeah, it's my evasive tool, you dumbass. Get out of here. Give me, give me another knockout. Oh, you're tired. You're tired, eh? Let's see. Material girl! Did I get hit? Mr. Bullfango, tear down these walls. How are you alive? 
I like, I know the stupid alchemy thing will kill you, man. I'm loving Elden Ring, man. I don't think I would say it's better than Dark Souls 3, but it's very good. Dark Souls 3 is the GOAT, though. Easily. Uh-oh. Oh, he missed. Oh, no, he got me. You can run with barrel while shaking it? I guess he can, yeah. Actually, I've seen it. All right, we seem to like chill out for like two seconds. Oh! Uh. Don't do it, homie. Oh, I missed. I don't know, if you like Bloodborne, if you like Souls games, you'll like, uh, you'll like Elden Ring. It's really good. It does have that one issue. Like, like I love, I think that they did open world games really well, but they do still su suffer from some open, wor open world, like, kind of, not necessarily laziness, but it's just something that happens when you make those kind of games. You know, the, the thing about, okay, so, like, the thing about Dark Souls 3 is that the, because the world is, is sectioned off, you can heavily craft each area to be like purposeful and like everywhere you go has purpose. So like if, no matter which nook and cranny you go down, it, it is like deliberate and it doesn't feel the same as anywhere else you've been in the game. But when you do that in Elden Ring, it, they're very good at it. They're very good at it. A lot of the places feel like that, but it still suffers from like that kind of repetitive nature, you know? there's. There's 20,000 caves to go into, and each cave follows the same dynamic of getting to the end of the cave so that you can fight the optional cave boss. And then if it's not a cave, it's a catacomb, and it's the same thing for each catacomb. You get to the end of the catacomb so that you can pull a lever so that you can fight the boss in the catacomb. And you have to do that over and over and over and over again. So... Elden Ring is suffering from what a lot of open world games do where it comes to this kind of like semi-repetitive nature of being open world, but all the other core content within it feels very Dark Souls and feels very deliberate. And so I, and, and the open world is still really nice and still has all of this crap to do and, and feels very crafted, so it's good. And yeah, you can jump in it. No, it's not a spoiler. There's just, this is just a gameplay mechanic. Like, I'm not gonna spoil anything for you. It's, uh, I, I don't want, yeah, I'm not going to spoil anything. I, it, you can follow it linearly, but it promotes you, like, going out and doing your own thing. If that helps you. Breath of the Wild is, like, it's, people like to compare it to Breath of the Wild, actually, but I think Breath of the Wild is actually fairly weak in terms of, uh, open world games. I think what it did at the time was pretty decent, but, uh, it's just, just other things have done it so much better. Yeah, we got the tusks. Yeah, Twilight, that would be because you're in an arena quest of some sort. It, you won't get carves from that. I would I would say for open worlds, Elden Ring is probably one of the top tier open worlds currently. But you, it's still a Japanese developer that's trying to do this for the first time. And they, they suffer from certain like things because of that. Um... I, I, you always see it with Japanese devs, I find. They always, they always like, try to do open world, and there's, like, a bunch of faults with it. Um, and then they, they're probably going to do it again and come back at it stronger. Like, Breath of the Wild 2 is probably going to have a better open world than Breath of the Wild 1 had. And if Elden Ring, if the next Dark Souls game is going to be open world as well, I actually hope it isn't. Um, uh, it, it'll probably be done better. And, again, they already did it really well. It, it just suffers from a couple of things. Yakuza devs? I mean, I don't really play Yakuza, so I can't really comment. I played a little bit of uh, 7. Am I, am I buying the Greaves? I think I'm buying the arms, right? Yeah, it looks right. Okay. Semi-open worlds are easier to work with. But like I'm saying, I really hope that, like, I think this is a good way of, like, differentiating um, Elden Ring from typical Dark Souls experience. Kind of like how Sekiro also differentiated stuff and Bloodborne also differentiated stuff. But I do want them to go back to contain environments for the next game. 
it's it, they are they are stronger at doing contained environments than they are at doing open world environments and i think that they would be able to do more in a future game in contained environments Oh yeah, Pokemon did it awful. Pokemon did it so bad with Sword and Shield, and then like Arceus was like marginally better, and maybe Scarlet and Violet will be good. I actually have no idea. Does she still sell stuff? Does she let you scout cats here? Oh, okay, cool. All right, so we need one. So this is all we need now. If we look at the uh, chest. For Jaggy. This is the set, basically. We just need the shiny beetles. They do need to do a Hello Kitty open world game, I agree. We can go do Cephadrome, I guess, because Cephadrome is going to be... Um, in the desert, I assume. Yeah, he's in dunes. So we can do, we can do Cephadrome. Uh, and we'll, did, can somebody tell me the areas in which I can find bugs? I'll try and get boosted again. No booster, but we can get Oracle. You can probably slick axe them, but I'm not. I'm trying not to waste my slick axes until G rank. We we really want to save all of our slick axes for G rank. Maybe not all of them. We have 180, but a fair bit of them. All right, we're in the dunes. Six, seven, nine, eleven. Arrow, hello. Good to see you. Welcome to the dunes. Oh, each village has a cat? Scouter? I didn't know that. I thought Pokey was just, like, different. He is in seven. And we need to go six, seven, nine, eleven. Six, seven, nine, eleven. Oh, he's like right there. Okay, that's fine. Are these sonic bombs? Yeah. Oh wait, give me those paintballs too. I haven't edited it yet. I haven't edited it yet, but we were looking at the title cards. Where is there it is? Muted. You guys can't hear me? Uh, Feline Oracle, it's a food skill. It's only for a little bit, though. Wait, don't go in there. Shit. Okay. Oofy's scaring me. I want to go to six first, see if we can get those shiny beetles out of the way. Cephadrome's going to be... Wait, isn't there a cave or something here? Yeah, there it is. Ten, four. Here we go. Give me a shiny beetle. Shiny beetle! Stink hopper. Bitter bug. Mega fishing fly. Come on. My bug nets break before I find it. Shiny beetle, let's go! Okay, we got one. If we don't get another one on this one, I'll use a slick axe. Cephadrome pisses me off. Understandable. Understandable. This one was. This is the 4U desert, right? That's not ugly. Pook champ sick. What are you talking about? There's my man. Ah, Umfi. There you go. Sounds like a skill issue. Hey, buddy. Think. All right, see it. Oh, this is eight. No, it's not an eight. Dark, hello. Good to see you. How you doing? 
Rosal said seven, but I don't see. I don't see where it would be. I'm looking for a butterfly. Jeeves going well. Have you? Did you ever finish three ultimate? I think you're on portable third now. I might be wrong. Here, Nico says seven. Maybe it just didn't show up. Sometimes gathering spots don't always show up. Nice. Congrats. Shiny beat. Oh! Let's go. Get me out of here. Ow. Alright, let's go finish this Cephadrome off. Yeah, three is good for, like, impact. Where's my what's my barrel bomb at? Or my. Bro, ow. Let's back up a bit. I feel like Hammer would be really good in that one, so I understand that. Poisonous. Eat shit. Does he fall for that? Yeah. Kit Kat, thank you. Appreciate it. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Ah! I think I could go hammer in it in pretty much any game. I feel like hammer would just be a lot of fun. I'm getting asked. We're in question for my own GU run to get to G rank. Do I have to go through Soratorium or Hub? Uh, both? To get to G rank, you have to go through both? The hub area and then the Soratorium has its own hub area. Has like a uh, pub. Hub and pub. Oh my god. Ooh! Ooh. Eye frames. Oh my god. I'm a god at Sword and Shield, man. This, this is easy. What happened to my map? Why did it do that? Oh yeah, I hate when that happens. Where'd you go? All over, man. Stay away from me. Oh god. There we go. I'm gonna hold it first, I don't trust him. Yeah. Comes the roar. Oh no, it's a... What would you call this? He's moving around a lot. I don't like it. Football. This mounting system is so fast and so simplistic. I like it for that. I like what World did with it for sure, but I really like this one just for like the simplicity. Oh my god. Get in there. Ah. I'm bouncing. Oh! Oh, I see. You can do the run off of it. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I do. Oof. Frames. Let's go. Let me get up there. Um. Uh oh. Did I get it on? I did not. Jesus. There we go. All right, where is my alchemy barrel? Where is my alchemy barrel? It's so, it's, that's so annoying. It's like, I'm so used to the radio menu now, man. I think I need to chill out. Barrel's out, let's go, let's run away. Shake, shake, shake. Uh, where's the one I'm looking for? Oh no, I did it wrong. Wait, I want, uh, there it is, I want that. And then I also want this. There we go. All right, those are all set up. Neat. All right, let's 
go mess this dude up. We got the fireball ready in case we need it. Does anybody know the damage value on that? Someone said 60 motion value. I feel like it'd be a set damage number, though. Thank you, let's go. I get shit on. Stupid. Oh, he's gonna hang it. Yeah, of course. Of course you are. Hate this guy. Ow. Uh, oh my god. Enough. Oof. Ooh, we dodged. Ooh. Get me out of there. Get out of there. She's gonna blow. You suck, dude. It's a very simplistic design for sure. Like it was like, it's a gen one monster, right? Where are you going? Where are you going? Is he in the sand? Oh, no he's not. Oh, he paralyzed me, no! Thank you. Thanks, Gabe. What a gamer. Come here, stop it. Enough. Enough. So tired of this guy. I'm sure he's almost dead at least. He is a drone after all. Like they don't really have a lot of HP and shit. Ow. Rousing roar. Ow, what the fuck, man. I, it's like fighting Plesiod, it sucks. Taking so much unnecessary damage. Mabel. Hey, get back here. What? What? Is he enraged or something? He might be leaving. To go to the combine list. Just trying to get used to doing that. You know, I don't. I didn't really need to do it for this hunt, but I want to get used to making whetstones so that we can get that. Are immunizers potions? Is that the idea? No, come back. Aw, I'll save the other one for a wake up. Mm. Bro, just die, just die. You're being ridiculous. Holy shit, bro. Oh no! Ugh. Oh. 
Sorry, the animals are going crazy. Thank you, Rosie. Oh yeah, I'm, I need a hot drink, or a cold drink. Ow, Jesus. Oh, he's limping. Get back here. No, I don't even need cool drink anymore. He's not worth my time. Where's he going? Wait, 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 don't leave, don't leave. See, I get healed, I don't need cool drink. I went to three. All right, let's go this way. Oh, I see. I don't think we'll end up using Remedy then. Sounds annoying. At least her set's gonna be done after this. And this is a key quest, so that's good. See you, Snowing Steak. Thanks for tuning in. I guess so, yeah. I guess it would say Mega Potions. Wait, I thought I have them. Do I not have them? I thought I had barrels on me, but I guess I don't. They're gonna wake him up. Fuck. I got him. Nice. Out of my way. Get out of here. Ah. God damn it. Right. I'm dying, bro. Leave me alone. There we go. Easy. I didn't even use a single freaking healing potion that entire time, man. Joke fights. Easy peasy. So we do a little bit of carving. Cephalo scale. All right. I love water. Delicious water. How are we doing on time? Good. Awesome. Uh, yeah, SNS is pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Thoughts on Malfestio? Uh, I don't really have any. It's an okay fight. I, I thought he was cool. Doesn't he have a deviant? Frankie? Where are you? I was wondering. Bleh. All right, time to go finish this set. We'll see what it gives us. See you, Sky. Communist Malfestio. Oof, scary. Can't hold on this one. Done and done. Send a box. Get me out of here. Get me out of this hell world. Hate the dunes. Not a big dune guy, you know? Not a big fan of the dunes. <laughs> you, sir. Make me armor. I thought it was supposed to give us attack up L. Does it only give us attack up M? Well, I guess it probably has slots. All right, that's, ooh, it looks pretty, it looks all right. You know, it's an okay looking set, honestly. I'm looking forward to that Dune uh, 4K that's coming out. I haven't gotten Might Pills yet, so I don't know how to, how I'm gonna make it. We'll have to go find Might Pills. Where can I get Might Pills? advanced armor spheres? Did I run out of advanced armor spheres?
were talking. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't reading chat. I was busy. You don't even have to go back to the dunes. You talk to the trader cat and get my pills. What trader cat? Oh, I know who you mean. Mecco. We have a lot of defense. Like, like this is like the Guardian set, basically. We have a fuckload of defense. Um, yeah, let's go to Burna. If we're lucky, Neko will be selling uh, my pills. How much do I need? Four? Really? No. Yeah, four? I need four? How many slots do I have? One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. No, his name is not... His name is not... Yes, Chatter. Neko means cat. Like, it, it, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a jokey joke. So his name is Cat Means Cat. That's his name. Cat Means Cat. Neko Means Cat. You have to call him by his full name. You can't just call him Neko. It's Neko Means Cat. Oh, yeah. He sells Psycho Serum. He sells everything, man. He's not selling them right now, though, unfortunately. Uh, I guess we'll have to go get some. At least we can farm them if we get one. So somebody, did you say I could go to the... How do you not get burnt down from constant hours of playing Monster Hunter? I'm one of the biggest fans and supporters of Monster Hunter, but sometimes I need a break. I Sometimes I need a break too. Um, when we finished World, I spent about a week or two playing Dragon's Dogma on stream instead because I needed a break. So... I, I do get burnt out. I got burnt out on Rise. I'm like, I can't play Rise right now. It's awful. Um, the game's not awful, but... Area, but Verdant Hills areas 1 and 3, okay. Um, so I, I get burnt out in other Monster Hunter games, and I can play I can play a different Monster Hunter game and not feel as burnt out. Um, or I just play a different game entirely. You know? There's Also, it's a lot more fun to play Monster Hunter on stream than just playing by myself. I can just like... Cause like I'm talking to you guys the entire time, so there's a lot more going on than just playing Monster Hunter. We're kind of just like on an adventure, you know. But I do get tired of it a little bit. Uh, let's go to uh, areas one to three, eh? Do I really not have a Vernon Hills Harvest Tour? Problem. One of these has to be in. Uh, is this in Verdant Hills? Yeah. Probably unlock it after this. Oh no, I need to eat. Uh, we, we needed to do this quest anyway, so I'll do this first. It's gonna go by pretty fast. We have attack up M now. That's a lot. We wanted to get uh, sharp fangs too. Did I get any sharp fangs? I forgot to like try and get those. Yeah, I'm soloing all of uh, 4 is gonna be rough. That game gets pretty difficult through certain parts of it. For you was tough, man. Like when we just doing low rank was like kind of a grind. I was surprised with like how difficult for you was from what I remembered. 
I meant to empty my inventory, but whatever. Uh, it's a different play style. You have to, like, it takes a long time to get good at these games. Like, I, I was probably playing Monster Hunter for, because I started with, I really started with Try, right? So that was, like, what? When did Try come out again? 2013? How does it do that? Let me try came out in America in 2010. So it's been like what 10 years. So I've been playing Monster Hunter for like 12 years. And I would say I only like got decently good. Like really good and like tried to get tried to get good through like needing to be good. Not speedrunner good, obviously, but like I got I got better and more I got better at the game and I understood the game more when I started streaming. Because I really started to put like real dedicated hours into it and like I needed to be good for the challenges we were doing. Like I needed to be good to solo everything. I, there's things I had to learn. I said the thing, what did I say? Get good. Those aren't what I want. Oh yeah, you definitely have to try harder in this game in comparison to world. Series one to three, right? Paintberry. I feel like it would be here if it was anywhere. Might see. There it is. Sick. All right, we got one. Let's go kill Velocidrome. We'll try and get more might seeds just to help us out. I'm gonna farm one of them. Soloing all of G is gonna be pretty tough later on, but. G GU has an easier start than 4U does, but I mean, we also had all those DLC and stuff, right? We're not going to have that DLC going into a Kutku scale. Wow, they still had that, eh? They still had that, the Kutku scale thing. It wasn't even on Honey, it was on the... It was on the, uh... Berry Gathering. Will you attempt a challenge for try or 3U? I did 3U already. I did 3U. I'm going to go back and do try at some point. I'm waiting. I'm not necessarily waiting for the online to be fully functional. You can already go to lock lock, so you can technically take part in the entirety of the game. But uh, there, we have other stuff we need to do first, so it's not on the top of my priority list. I might go back and do 3U in between GU and 4U in order to do online. Because I wanted to play online through you for a while. I've had like a craving. Where is he? I will say, it, it feels weird saying that I've been playing this game for 12 years. Like, I've been having like a really... What's the word for it? I've been having a really bad time with like coming to terms with like how much time has passed since I've started to enjoy things. Like 12 years for Monster Hunter, 20 years for this other thing. Like... I don't know. You reach a certain point where you're like, time is moving really fast and I'm super scared. So I've been dealing with that a lot lately. There you are. Found you. That's not been great on my mental health. There we go. Like, I'm going to be, what, 30 in June and I feel like my fucking... I'm having my midlife crisis already. And I'm only 30. There you are, you fuck. Yeah, I'm having my rad life crisis. Oh, I didn't mean to do it four times. Damn it. That's fine. Yeah, the pandemic the pandemic hasn't been great either, right? Like that, I, I feel like I'm losing a lot of time because of the pandemic. Uh, I mean, I'm not really like I'm doing everything I want to be doing. I feel like I'm missing a lot of social time, I guess. Every everything I've wanted to do career-wise, I'm like currently doing, so I'm like pretty happy about that. Um, but like socially, I I feel like I don't know. I've lost like years of being able to like hang out with friends and stuff like that because of the pandemic. So it sucks. And when, when, because I'm in like this weird mindset, it's like been rough on me. Get over here. 
Not to be a downer, but... That was like a one-hit mount. Get up here. Did I put my oil on? Can you stop? Stop it! Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this dude. Stop! Holy shit. Her bestie, don't say that, please. I'm hoping that's not true uh, about the best use thing. Like, if anything, I'm more active than I've ever been. Like, I'm going to the gym more and stuff like that. I like to think that my next decade is going to be pretty decent. <laughs> Physically? <laughs> don't say that, babe. It's not true. I hope so, fuck. That'd be nice. Back here. Ooh! Okay. Yeah, finishing, finishing uni is gonna be weird. I'm, I'm hoping they'll be like, uh, lol, we're canceling student debt like as soon as I'm like done. That'd be sick. I broke his head. used an oil. Do I bother using an oil at this point? Where are they? Am I out of them? Oh, I only have stamina oil. Give me one. 30 is the start of G-Rank. Great. <laughs> it's gonna be my hardest. This is gonna be my hardest years. It's gonna be so tough. 30 is the start of G rank. You have to fight Metal Rathalos now. Hey. Stay tired, dude. Knock out. Get knocked out. God damn it. Oh, he's so tired, bro. I feel bad for him. There we go. Hell yeah. Oh, he doesn't even go down? What is this? What is that? What is that? You don't even go down? That's so annoying, that's worse. He's more mobile. Ooh. Stay over there. There we go, that was easy. My boss has hyper zones. <laughs> Praying to God I'll never have a boss again, that'd be nice. Maybe if I do contract work. Oh, SPR's charge slower? I didn't know that. Okay, I'll turn. I'll probably turn them off then. I'd definitely turn them off Shoryugeki. Maybe leave it on Absolute Evasion and Round Force. Hey Reaper, it goes. How are you? Did I carve them? Oh, I guess so. I, I think SP mode has benefits. You should just have it on the faster, the faster uh, skills, eh? Like absolute evasion charge is really fast, so it makes sense to have it on that. But sure, Yugeki, we we see like maybe one sure Yugeki if we're lucky. Yeah, it'll obviously be more prevalent later on. You got <laughs> not not in arrows. Well, what was the argument? Online achievements. Arrow adjacent. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, we just put it on absolute evasion or whatever our quickest skill is, and then everything else can be, like, something else. Mabel. Mabel. Stop it. All right, what did we do that for? We did that for Might Seeds. I think we only got one, though. 
So we're going to have to, like, bring it over here. Maybe he's selling them now. That'd be, oh, that'd be such a kick in the ass. He'd be selling them. No, I think we're okay. He sells nets? Damn. Alright. Uh, yeah. Send in a different cat here. Sending caramel. Alright. We have that set up. I think that was the only one I got. I miss cool hit effects too, Brady. It's about how a game that hasn't even officially released yet has four online achievements and them complaining that it's annoying because they don't want to do them because they don't want to play for online and the base game has similar achievements, I want to say. What game is this? I, I yeah, I, 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 oh, GT7. I, I get not wanting to take part in online. I definitely think like, I mean, achievements don't fucking matter. <laughs> like that's, that's the crux of it in my opinion. If you're an achievement hunter, that could be annoying, but like, if you're if you're an achievement hunter though, like you're not playing for the game itself, you're playing for the achievements. You know, you're, if it, if it has online achievements, you're gonna do the online component because you're an achievement hunter. If you're just playing the game, like who cares? Don't don't do the online part. Hey, we do a little gaming. I hope you can start tuning in soon too. Appreciate you. Hope you're having a good day. All right, let's see if I did get any. Uh, any more decorations. Why am I talking to him? He sucks. I like achievements, don't get me wrong. Like, they're fun. It's not even on here yet. What else do you need for it? I guess I haven't gotten a jewel yet, so I can't really make decorations. When do you start getting aqua glow jewels? I wonder if I can upgrade anything. Yeah, Nintendo doesn't have one, eh? Now that you mention it. I still don't have I still don't have sharp fangs. How do I get sharp fangs? Do I have to go to the dunes? That sucks. If it mocks you, just like do them. If it mocks you, do them. Like if, if you if you have the mindset that it mocks you, do them. Otherwise, like get over it. That's my that, that's my thought on it. You're letting the fact that an achievement exists mock you, man? Like, you got bigger problems. You got bigger problems than that. Zamite and Conchu. I can't even, can I even find Zamite yet? Can I find Conchu yet? I didn't see any, I didn't see any in Dunes. You're saying there's some in Dunes? Aren't you in the dunes? Everything's everything is in the dunes. Okay, well we got we'll go do a harvest quest in the dunes for some sharp fangs. Um, who do I talk? Do I talk to her, Kokoto gal? There's the harvest tour. Are all our requests done? We still have to do the Arzuros. Unlock the Misty Peaks. I do, I say it how it is, and then people get mad at me for having a different opinion. That's the best part about it. That's the best part about being like marginally known within a community, is that people will hear your opinion and then they will just like hate you for it. It's so cool. It's so fucking weird. Uh, cool drink. Uh, it was fun, unrelated, but I don't know why I thought about this. Where do, okay, first of all, where, where are conchus? I'm looking for conchus. Um, unrelated, but it, it was funny. Uh, I think Rage Gaming came out with a video. I didn't watch it yet. I don't really watch Monster Hunter content, but I was going to watch this one. They came out with like a tier list video. They did my, they did my thing, man. They did a, 
They called it like the perfect Elder Dragon tier list, and I was like, I was like, that's my thing. That's what I do. That's what I do. And uh, so I, I, I replied to them. I was like, how is it? Oh, 10? I was like, how is it perfect if I didn't uh, if I didn't make it? You know. Can't believe I can't believe they would do that. <laughs> it was funny. I'm going to 10. I'm going. I'm going. I know. I am the... Ob if you want objective opinions, like if you want opinions that are actually facts, I call them opinions, but they're facts. Anytime you hear me say something like... Anytime you hear me say in my opinion in a video, cl you can clip this so you can use this against me later. <laughs> um, anytime I say in, in my opinion or I say opinion, I really mean... I really mean fact. I actually mean fact. Because I know all. You know what? The, the, the best part about that is someone's gonna see me say that, and on Twitter, and they're gonna be like, "I can't believe he! I can't believe he said that! I can't! Be, I can't believe! I knew Super Rad was like that! I knew he was evil and awful! Like, <laughs> like man, like I was just joking! And they'll be like, "No, you're setting a perception for blah blah blah," and just go off. Twitter, Twitter has rotted the brains of many individuals. Twitter and game facts. Why would he have an armor sphere on him? What? They both had. Is this where they come from? I'm so confused. Ever since the accident and the copy of Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate for the 3DS was fused into your brain, and you have yeah, I have objective opinions. Um. Is this the only place to find Conchu? Because I didn't get what I needed. And we I don't think we can find Samites anywhere, so. I think I'm I think I'm boned. Don't clip it, I don't want to get in trouble. You guys are gonna make me get in trouble. Try eleven? Sure. over to 11. Try five. Yeah, you didn't know that in me? That they were introduced in four and that's when they started. Yeah, they, they would attach to like, um, I don't know who, I want to say Kaku. Well, there's none here. I only need two, and you're... Oh, it's a rare drop. That sucks. I could just make the Jaggy one, but Paralysis would be nice. I feel like status ailments on this weapon would be really good since you deal so much... Since you hit so many times. They may... I mean, Sharp Fangs are easier in, like, the newer games, right? I'm pretty sure you can, like, fucking buy them sometimes. Oh, there's more Conchus. Okay. Hell yeah. I'll read that in a second. Let me grab this. Yee! Die! Wow, he takes forever. The hilarious thing about Twitter, some girl came out to make a post directed at Putin about some recent- Yes! Holy shit, we got one! Putin about the recent thing in the Ukraine and everything. She made a vid saying how it was- how if she was her mother- If she was his mother, the world would be a better place and all this shit. She was checkmarked, by the way. Okay. Was that the slam? Was it, was it a slam poetry girl? That just sounds silly. That's not a Twitter thing. That's just like a funny internet thing, in my opinion. What? She said that if she was Putin's mother, she, that the world would be a better place. Yeah, I believe I, I I believe it. I believe that the God damn it! Come on, I got one sharp fang. Give me another one. Any more? Critical made of it. I don't really watch Critical's content, man. <laughs> Critical is like uh... how do I put this. Critical is like Philip DeFranco for for how do I not be insulting about this? How do I put it? For Coomers. 
Criti critical is Philip DeFranco for Coomers. Okay. He like he does everything Philip DeFranco does. Like he just any time a topic comes up, he talks about it. Like it's news. But he does it for topics and people that spend like all their time jerking off and watching hentai and shit. Um the, shit posters is probably a more like a less insulting term i'm not i'm really not trying to like insult somebody with that like observation like um chatter for example um but like there's there's that type of group right the shit posty group the one that cares about that kind of drama and shit like that so he is for that demographic and philip defranco is for like white suburban moms that don't really understand youtube and don't go past the recommendeds or the trending and and Frankie, Frankie watches Philip DeFranco. <laughs> yeah, memers. Yeah, exactly. Memers, you know, dudes that have like. No, nothing's happening. I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm just I'm I'm trying to explain what I because like I have this perception of critical. Like I wouldn't watch critical for the same reason that I don't watch Philip DeFranco because like I I just don't care about that content. You know. Critical is like for dudes that no, that's too insulting. <laughs> nah, like I like he, I'm sure I don't know anything about Critical, so I, like I can't say I'm sure he's a fine dude. This, his content doesn't interest me. I like that he runs like esports now. I think that's cool. He like used his like success and stuff to make like organizations and stuff. That's neat. Yeah, Philip DeFranco is good for like a TLDR of like more prevalent news, more prevalent online news. Yeah, he's chill. I the one video that I watched from Critical was his blockbuster video. I enjoy, I really enjoyed that blockbuster video. Ooh, yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I wanted. That's what I'm talking about. All right, come on. What, do I, did I get one and I just don't realize it? No, I still, I still need one more. Are they not going to respawn now? Maybe I need to wait longer. This is just a harvest quest. We're trying to get a sharp fang. We need one more sharp fang. But we have to wait for the conchus to respawn. I guess I'll sharpen. Reminds me I gotta put my whetstones away. I don't need them anymore. Yeah, this is real monster hunter. This is, this is, this is true. This is... Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate was the last true Monster Hunter game. I talked about this before. Um, I've been thinking about it because, like, if Mabel ends up needing, I don't know, I don't know if Mabel will need the surgery, but if she does, I'm gonna do that the uh, that donation stream to help her because it's gonna be expensive. Uh, but if I don't need to do that, I'm gonna save the dose video for the next subathon. So when I'm done uni. I'm gonna do another subathon and then I don't know if I'll cap that one. I think I'll, cause like last time it was like every sub was three minutes. So I was thinking of making every sub like, I don't know, one or two minutes instead, but not capping it. So I have to stay on as long as possible. Are they not gonna spawn again? I'll probably have to redo this. That's what that's that's the reference. We're talking about Jacob. Yeah. Yeah, there's probably a spawn limit. They would have they would have been back by now. Jacob's cool. I asked him if I could uh react to the video. I like it's not going to be a very critical reaction either. Like that's the thing people like I, I think Jacob was worried about that a little bit and like people were people were like kind of expecting that. But really it's just going to be me like half listening to it and being like, "Okay, yeah. Yeah, good point. Good point. Cool, cool, cool." Or no, that sounds silly or something like that, you know. 
Like, it's not going to be very interesting. Like, I mean, I'm going to try and make it interesting, but I don't think it would be that interesting. You know? Yeah, it's my, that's my favorite joke. I'm glad I got to use that in uh, the MHI video. I would like to eventually own a house, but like the uh, the housing market in North America is uh, incredibly awful. It's like it's like really bad. And we can't move out of the country, unfortunately. So I went back to MHGU to just try it out while waiting for Ryzen. I gotta say, Old School feels so much more amazing to me. Yeah, Old School definitely feels better, in my opinion. You really feel like Monster Hunter. Mind Guard Sweetheart, what up? Yeah, it really is. Final Fantasy XIV and Real Life have the same housing crisis. It's, it's kind of a joke. Wait, no, that's not what I wanted. I wanted Dunes. Take me to Dunes. Take me to Dunes. He loves that guy, the guy that sings that song. What's his name, babe? She loves Hosier. Such a such a dumb name. Hosier? Hosier? Stupid. Friends have been playing World recently, so I picked it back up, and there's definitely quality of life stuff there, but it, I think it's so fucking good. I think it's so fucking good, but I think I prefer Geo. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of good quality of life in those games. Where, was, where where did I go? Five? No, it was ten. In Final Fantasy or in real life? I am not going to give you housing advice in real life. Because I have no idea. That would be very irresponsible of me. If you're asking about Final Fantasy, yes, this would be this would probably be, I don't want to I don't want to like confirm for sure, but if you were to sell your house in Final Fantasy, um, this would be like probably a prime time to do it. People are selling like medium plots in like desirable areas for like upwards of like eight hundred dollars maybe. I would not spend eight hundred dollars. But they they go for that. I've seen I've seen between four hundred. I see, I mean maybe not eight hundred. I've seen between like one hundred. I've seen between eighty to five hundred dollars, and I could only assume that it's around eight hundred now. The housing market is truly insane in that game. Yeah, people will pay real money for that shit, because it it is really like it is so it is so hard to get, and people want it so badly. That, like, it has created its own artificial market. It's like a fucking... It's like a real housing market. It's insane. Your best bet, in my opinion, would be to... You could either take real money for it and be like... There's a risk there, obviously. So you could do real money, or you could just have somebody deposit... Join, like, your FC and deposit you, like... Millions, probably. Either way, I, I have never done that. I, I want to go on record saying I have never done that. So nobody can get me banned on my account. I have never done RMT. I will never do RMT. Please do not ban me, Yoshi P. EVE Online did like their economy super well. I love EVE Online for that. I actually play EVE Online. I haven't played it in a long ass time, but I do play it. It has, EVE Online has one of like the best like, con it, it just has like some amazing mechanics for online. I didn't mean to climb there. The fact that you can get armor spheres from these guys is so fucking annoying. <laughs> this shouldn't even be on the table, man. It shouldn't even be on the goddamn table.
Oh yeah, yeah. I've heard the horror stories of the Japanese visa. It seems very easy to like live in Japan though. Like you can just like get a English teaching job or something. It's much harder to like get into Europe and shit we found. Oh my god, come on. One sharp fang, please. Please. Where are you? Okay. Is he still alive? I would, yeah, we, we would actually, we would probably move to the EU. We're moving to Montreal at some point, but we would probably move to the EU if we could, but we can't, unfortunately. They're very restrictive on like visas and stuff like that. Unless you're bringing in like a boatload of cash and unfortunately my, my content creation career has not hit, hit that point. <laughs> Yes! Ah, oh, let's go. Hell yeah. Let's get out of here. Easy. First try, baby. We did it. That was the hardest part of GU so far. Yeah, I would I would visit Japan for sure. I definitely want I'm definitely going to visit Japan at least once. I agree, power. I say that all the time, actually. I wish they would do that. Or at least an HD collection on uh, the Switch. I would even take that. PC would be the best, though. Okay, so what did we do that for? Oh, the Velocipray, the Velocidrome weapon. Alchemy just lets you make specific items, and then those items are like boosted versions of normal items or completely new items, and then you can use those items to to do silly stuff. And it also helps boost your uh, skills. Yeah, maybe maybe we'll have to see if does does UK have a. Like if you bring in this this much amount of money, you can get a visa. Japan has that. I, it probably isn't. Like I'm pretty like according according to this, not that I can like gauge valid validity, but this is like Japan's only 50k. I'm not gonna talk about my fucking finances on stream. I'm just saying like. It, I mean, if I was to work in my career, I could do it for sure. Like, if I was to do, like, programming. Maybe I'll put my bachelor's to use. Mm hmm In the cave in Verdant Hills? We'll have to do that at some point. Maybe we'll go look into doing that now. We need four Aqua Glow Jewels. All right, uh, we got the ability to make the weapon we want. Which one? Crap, yeah, this is crafting. Okay. Um, I want to upgrade. Finally, Serpent's Bite, baby, let's go. And it has two slots, holy shit. All right, Serpent's Bite has been made. We're not gonna be able to upgrade it again until we get, we have to kill a Velocidrum again and get Bealator. Where do we get Bealator from? Oh, in terms of bringing in business, yeah, I wouldn't really be making the them money by doing what I do. Let's go get those, uh, let's go to the, if you, oh, deserted island? We don't have the island unlocked yet. Yeah, but unfortunately we don't have any family there.
almost done, eh? Shit. Thanks, Gatini. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's true. I should sell all the other crap. What? Harvest tours don't count for that? God damn it. I guess I understand why. That's annoying, though. Hmm. Okay. Manage equipment, sell equipment. Yeah, what do we not need here? We don't need this. This. There we go. Okay. Someone said we can get Beolite, not Beolite ore, but Aqua Glow Jewels, which we're gonna need. In a cave somewhere in Burden Hells. Thanks for getting rid of all the bad weapons. You're welcome. Do we have time for anything else? Not really. What do they want me to hunt? I mean, Arzuros would probably be pretty fast. I could, pro I could probably do Arzuros really fast. Let me do this Arzuros quest real fast, and then that'll be it. Probably get my item set. It'll go faster that way. Yeah, we need to make a super rad village. What? Do you already have it? Yeah. I can't find it. Um, search Final Fantasy. It was right there. Um, that looks, looks funny. Yeah. I'm not gonna help you with that time. Do it tomorrow. It's too late. It's Elden Ring time after this. I can't help you. The two biggest things a lot of towns seem to be lacking are colleges and internet. Yeah. I mean, that's understandable, actually. Let's get this bear. Where is he? I have a psycho serum. I can just drink that. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna really make this quest go fast. Hold on. No, not that one. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I know I have psycho serums. Where are they? Are they? I'm gonna get this ready. Send five. Down, please. Down. She's so hyper today. Mabel's like crazy hyper. She seems to be getting better. She's limping less, so we're uh, optimistic. Hello, Arzuros. Time to get your ass beat. Yeah, I think there was just too many monsters for them to make like significant intros for all of them in this game. Like they did a lot in Four Ultimate, right? Like there was a lot done in that one. Oh. Give me alone. Stamina oil is pretty good. I'm just gonna use this one because it's uh, it'll be more damage, so it should be faster. Because I have the traps. Come here, fucker. Let's go. I'm stuck. Alright. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Ah! Yeah, Affinity's faster. 
Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, that sucks for you. Oh, you should have saw that coming. There you go, there's ramp floors. I'm bouncing. What game is this? Force, iframes, beautiful, love it. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Oh, would you read it? Now, oh, I can jump here. Whoa, chill, chill, chill. Come here, Come over here. Oh no! God damn it! What a bastard! Bro, I'm too fast for you. Uh oh. Come on. Die for me. This is pretty pog, Gadmi. I agree at 100%. Okay, I, think he, I think he's almost dead. He's drooling at least. It will sharpen. Oh my god. I have too many items on me. I gotta, I gotta change this item setup. It's just not worth it for a Lego ring. Did I sharpen? Do I only have yellow sharpness? Here we can get the... Uh... Yeah, it's an endgame set, basically. There you go. That's so funny. Poor bastard. Dude just wants to relax, man. I honestly can't blame him. Oh, Jesus. Ah, Dude, I get one Shori Ogeki per hunt, maybe, and you made me miss it. At least we get two round forces. No, you're not leaving. No, no, no. Yeah, stay there. No, fuck. Get back, back. Stay away from the exit. Stay away from the exit. Stop him, boys. Round force him, boys. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Oh my God, get him, Searsha. Get him, Searsha, let's go. No. There we go, easy peasy. Stay down. You're gonna lie down in the water. You take a bath. Free, baby. Very epic. Thank you. Thank you, Gatney. What a jokester. What a what a jokey little bear man. Winnie the Pooh ass man. Look at him there. Look at him. What happened to him? Nothing. An ass beating. Good night. Alright. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Man just wanted some honey. Well, he didn't get it, did he? He didn't get it, and now he never will. Yeah, the the barrels actually the fireball or whatever it's called. It's pretty cool. There's one thing I like in barrels. It's fireball. I don't think I've ever seen a barrel of fireball before, but it does exist. No, the Discord's open to everybody. If you're subbed, you get into the Faded Gang channel, but that's about it. It's just a public Discord. Feel free to join. Everybody's really cool. I don't think there's any bad eggs in there currently. Maybe I'm wrong. Don't try to prove me wrong. All right. Let me switch this over here. Grab all these items. Oh, what the fuck? No, I'm doing this wrong. That's why. Generics in there. Bad egg. A lot of epic people. Epic for the win. Epic for the win, people. Super, super epic pog champ for the win. Pog daddy, giga, milf, mommy, daddy, dom. Uh, 
Pog Dad, Giga Dad, Pog Mommy. All right. Is anybody streaming? Let's say bye to Vodders. Bye, Vodders. Peace out.